Hello, everybody. Hello. How's it going, Lisa? Oh, you're on the free stream yard, aren't you? I'm on what? Free stream yard. Yeah, I'm on the free stream yard. Oh, okay. Because it won't let me stream to my channel on your, because it's you don't pay for it. Okay. No, okay. No biggie. No biggie. Hey, Anna, how are you today? I'm texting her and talking to her. <laughs> there you go. <clears throat> oh, yeah. I, 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 uh, I have the free stream yard because I don't use it enough to justify paying for it. Yeah, I couldn't do the free. I do. I'm on too much. Yeah, you are. <laughs> so, you get what? Yeah. Yeah, you, I see you have a fr uh, full fridge. I even showed uh, Lisa. That's a lot of stuff. Yeah. So hmm. I try to do something about every day. Yeah, it's way to do but it. I, don't, I haven't been doing it. I did. She did. It must be nice. I know, right? Well, shoot, we got so many canned goods. I'm doing. I'm going to be doing a yard sale soon, and I'm going to put up a free food table and uh, let people pick what they want because I've got – I have – Literally, uh, I'm sitting here looking in my kitchen right now, and I probably have about 900 canned goods. <laughs> yeah, but they don't go bad. Honestly, they don't. But half as long the as they're not eat. rusted or dented, they they're fine. Yep, exactly. And I have uh, I, I, but half the stuff we won't eat. Oh, um, so we don't eat it that often, you know. It's like how many? I have two huge one-gallon cans of green beans. <laughs> you know what am I gonna do with those? I, I can eat that by myself, but that's all I'm eating that day. You know? Yeah. <laughs> we we got a bunch of chickpeas and garbanzo beans, and we don't. <coughs> my dad brought them out here, and it's like we don't eat that kind of stuff. Yeah, I love that kind of stuff. The chickens won't even eat. Kimberly, it. how are you? Hi, Kimberly. Bok choy. There's a lot of good recipes for bok choy, uh, but my animals will eat it for sure. <laughs> my tortoise loves bok choy. So does the bearded dragon. Yeah, the animals <laughs> will not thing. eat chickpeas. None of them. Yeah, see, I like chickpeas, but my wife doesn't like dried beans that you have to soak and cook. She doesn't eat beans like that. But oh, she eats can. <laughs> so I'm just going to use. Uh, I have a bunch of beans. She's not going to know, and I'm going to make chili with them, and she'll be like, "Well, oh, these are good. Damn it! There you go. Finally, you know." Yep. <clears throat> Raylan's very picky on what she eats. So she says she's not, but I know she is. <laughs> Everyone in my house is picky. I don't know. They I'm get not. hungry. And, they get hungry enough, they'll eat anything, right? That's right. Well, Randlin won't. She won't eat beef or pork and nothing with bone in it. So what? all the chicken has to be boneless, skinless chicken breast. She won't eat thigh meat. She won't eat wings. She won't eat leg meat, even if you pull the bone out. It's like, oh. But she'll eat Taco Bell, which is nothing but, you know, horse meat. <laughs> goat meat. It says it's chicken. It's not chicken. It's, it's horse. goat meat. Horse, horse or goat. Yep. Yep. <laughs> they got in trouble for that once. Oh, several times. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I'll be right back. <laughs> I've never eaten Taco Bell. <clears throat> really? You've never eaten it? No. You're not it's missing much. I call it toxic smell. Yeah. I mean, for, yeah. If I can't find prune juice, I go get some Taco Bell. There you go. Oh, tomorrow is Ashley's, Ashley's birthday. birthday. Happy oh. birthday, early Ashley. Oh, uh, <coughs> cool. I haven't seen Kimberly for a minute. I haven't either. I haven't seen Boo either. Well, Kimberly's been out driving that truck, so. Oh, yeah. She did a video of like an underground thing in Utah somewhere. I was like, dude, I want to go there. Yeah. <coughs> That's, That's cool. the right Kimberly I'm thinking of. I can't remember. <laughs> I watch so many YouTube channels. <laughs> <clears throat> I try to watch them, but I just sometimes I'll just play them and then I'll sit there and watch something else. And <laughs> yeah, I, I put mine on when I leave the house and just let it run. I still can't get my watch out or stuff. It's like, come on. <laughs> I don't know. I guess do a short, like a, a one minute short every morning. Yeah, and you, but you won't get your watch hours. You'll get your. Uh, Subs up and you'll get views, but you won't get your watch hours. Well, every time it plays, it's a minute. Yeah, but I put I do like a two or three hour video and just let that playlist play, yeah. and then go, you get you know. But I mean, so, if you want other people to watch it, you could do that. And yeah, I know. I got shorts that come out every Friday and Saturday usually, um, or at least every Saturday, and a video come out every yeah. Wednesday, and then the first Sunday of every month, I have a video come out of me reading my writing. So I've got videos all the way until August. <laughs> there you go. But oh, you'll get you'll eventually get it. Yeah, I'm not too worried about it. I do it for fun. I'm not doing this for money. Yeah. 
So, <clears throat> and I'm trying to get somebody on my uh, on the auction. Um, if she were to tell her, I think she has two and a half million subs. If she tells her two and a half million subs, she's going to be on my auction, and they do have to be uh, subscribed to chat. Um, yeah, I think I'll get some subs and some watch hours because if, even if a thousand people show up and I go for four hours, that's four oh, thousand yeah. watch hours, you know. <laughs> you're in my auction too. Oh, I was going to bring you on because I'm like, let me think. We have a thousand people in the chat. Lisa gets some sales. <laughs> but uh, yeah, if yeah. She, that is if she uh, comes on the auction, then there's another person. Uh, she's an artist, and oh my goodness, phenomenal. But uh, she would have to tell her subs to come over because yeah. Uh, I love our crowd, but they're not going to spend what she's wanting for some of these paintings and drawings because yeah. she does a lot of reptiles and they are phenomenal. I've been trying to get my cousin <clears throat> to come on because she she writes books. Ah. And the, I know somebody else who does that too. But yeah, she, I think I do too, but I can't remember his name. He's an idiot. But she wrote this. Um, I did a little short on it and uh -huh. it, um, from you know where I grew up and where she grew up and it was about where we it just family stuff but it was really yep. cool and she's donating all the profits for that to like the animal shelters and stuff so yeah nice hi janice how are you today hi janice yeah i got all my books right here they're all yeah. sitting right there they're all, those are my my books that i wrote they're all signed copies <laughs> yeah. i just throw them on the shelf <laughs> sometimes when i do a giveaway i'll do a, a book a, a, and I'll just order it from Amazon and have it sent to them. But yours is you expensive. Mine? Yeah. Mine are that. cheap. Mine are all, slightly above what it costs to print the damn thing. Yeah. But yeah. yeah, the cost of printing is what's insane. Yeah. And I barely make a dime. I barely make anything on those. If you have Amazon where you can read for free, yeah. or you pay a month, you do you get them free. No, I don't get them for free. Oh, uh, so yeah. If you have it where you uh yeah, <clears throat> but if you have like uh, what is that? I can't remember what it is. Oh, I can't remember either. But but uh, Kindle, Kindle Unlimited. Yeah, if you have Kindle Unlimited, you get mine for free. So. Well, there you go. And well, so I, made, I, I made three cents last month. Wow. <laughs> but I do, uh, I do the library on um, downloadable library. Oh yeah, that's way to that's do how it. I get mine. I go through the free ones and I just download all the free books. <laughs> yeah. I like to listen to audiobooks while I do other stuff. There you go. See, I, I can't listen to audiobooks. I don't get into it. Oh, I do. But I, I have to have the book in my hand. I can't read it on my computer. I have to have it in my hand. But now well, if I, I edit, I have to have it on a computer. So I started doing audiobooks when I was uh, working for the state as a social worker, and I would have to drive all over the place and see kids. Yeah. I'd be on the road for four or five hours a day sometimes. Uh, yeah. And so I started listening to audiobooks that way. See, I would listen to audiobooks, but half the time I'm on my motorcycle with headphones. And uh, I would, you know, it, it you can still hear the exhaust, but you can hear the music. But audiobooks would you wouldn't be able to hear them. No. Plus, I'm going deaf, so. <clears throat> so. I'm blind, not deaf. Huh? I can, I'm just blind. I oh, just blind. Okay. I, I didn't hear what you said. Ramblin's going blind too, so. <sighs> so, uh, it's just. I am so tired. My allergies are so hurting right now. My allergies. Hit them thumbs up, folks. Hit yes, them thumbs please. up. I only see three thumbs up, and one of them is mine. And one of them is mine. So only <laughs> one person gave a thumbs up. There you go, Janice. Janice is go. on the job. That's right. She is <laughs> Miss Thumbs Up. That's right. <clears throat> so. Uh, we have another guest coming in tonight, but I'm going to surprise everybody when that person shows up. So uh, that person's running a little late, stuck in traffic. What oh. I was just texted anyway. And then I will bring that special guest up and go, boom! Boom. 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 Yep, keep them thumbs up coming. Oh, uh, yeah. So, so where is that beautiful daughter of yours, Kimberly? I haven't seen her in here. Yeah, I haven't seen her either. I haven't seen her since I saw her last time I was on with you, and she came in, and I hadn't seen her in forever. Hmm. And she has Lisa loot to spend. Yeah. So she was here last Wednesday, wasn't she? Mm -hmm. Or last time I was on on Thursday. Last that time I was on with you yes. on Thursday. <clears throat> Something like that. 
but yeah, she's she got Lisa a long time ago and hasn't spent it. Ah, I got you. Yeah, I have uh, my buddy uh, from Ireland. Um, I called him Desi Boy, but it's Daisha Boy. Daisha huh? is um, a slang name for Waterford, Ireland. So I guess they have slang for the cities there or Waterford County or whatever. So it's mm-hmm. Daisha Boy, not Desi Boy. And I got yelled at. He's like, eh! mm-hmm. they were laughing at me. So. <laughs> But I don't even know if he's in the room now. He's probably still eating dinner because it's so what? We've got seven people watching. One of them's you and one of them's me. So. Yep. And <laughs> and the other one's the TV. So. <laughs> uh, so. Well. So let me know when you're ready to start selling. We can wait a few minutes. That's fine. Or if you're ready. Yeah. There he is. There he is. He, he heard you talking about him and decided yeah. to pop in there. <laughs> Uh, he's a leprechaun, real life leprechaun. Cool. He is. I saw him in a big boy chair, and he's definitely a leprechaun. <laughs> His feet were like that far off the floor. Very <laughs> nice. He's got magic powers. That's exactly what he said. He goes, "Look, I'm a leprechaun." <laughs> he's got magic powers. Zap you through the computer. I took him for a ride in my Corvette. That made him happy. <laughs> oh, cool. And he got everybody in Ireland to watch. So, yeah. <laughs> so. wow, yeah. that's cool. Yeah, it was fun. Yeah. Even, uh, even uh, I, now I can't even think of his name. The guy that sits on the corner and drinks his beer. <laughs> he said, "Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm on YouTube." The guy said, "I'll watch it." And he sat there and watched it. <laughs> Dougie, Dougie is his name. Dougie. Uh, there you go. <laughs> so I was like, "There you go." But. Yeah. So you ready to start some selling? Oh, I anyone we else? You. We were up to nine, now it's down to seven. But this thing, I've seen 25, 30 people in a room, and it still says there's only six. Mm-hmm. So you never know. Yeah. Yep. Oh. So you got hey, some you? fun-filled plans for the week? In? Yeah. Right. <coughs> Invoicing. Yeah. Sleeping. Coffee. Yeah. 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 Raylan's at her mom's tomorrow and Saturday or tomorrow I plan on sleeping in doing nothing other than invoicing, which I'll probably have done tonight. And then yeah. uh, Saturday uh, is an IDGAF day for me or uh, ADS day for me. Ain't doing sh- dookie. <laughs> My husband wants to go get seeds for the garden Saturday. Seeds are good. I would love to have a garden, but I've got one, two, three, three huge trees in my backyard. The neighbor's tree, which takes up half my backyard, and then a big one in the driveway that takes up the rest of the backyard. So I got no place to put seeds. Uh, we have we have four acres. <clears throat> so don't you have a farm? I do not. No. Oh. I live in the city, but oh. we keep our pig at the farm. <clears throat> oh, so you don't have land at the farm you could like plant stuff on. No, and the farm is three and a half acres. I would buy it, but I uh, can't afford it right now. So, yeah, <clears throat> nice five bedroom house, uh, a barn, two outbuildings, and a building that needs to be torn down. And then there's another foundation I would put just a steel shed up and put all our lizards in there. <laughs> there you go. <clears throat> so, Ooh, now that we have as many as we have, well, you have to have a heated, though, wouldn't you? <clears throat> well, yeah, I mean, but, um. The crested geckos can stay basically at room temperature as long as they're above 65, 65 to 80. So yeah. as long as you keep it at like 72, is fine. That's what I keep the house at. <clears throat> Except for in the summer, it stays at, uh, yeah, six, 72 all year round. I just leave it on 72. So. All right. All right. Well, <coughs> bring you up. Going, anybody going to want anything? I hope so. <laughs> okay. Let me switch cameras here. Let's see. We got a blur. <laughs> it's, it's, oh, there you go. <laughs> I have that. I have this beautiful bracelet. It looks like it's homemade. So, let's do a starting bid of five dollars. Nice. That is gorgeous. It is, and the lock <clears throat> claw looks really, really nice on. Is that, are those red? That's black. Oh, those are black. Nice. Black with gold tone. And it's, you know, adjustable, stretchy. 
That is gorgeous. Very nice. For only five dollars starting bid, that's awesome. Yeah. I think if I put it on posh, I could get more net out of it, but that's okay. Oh yeah. I hate listing. <laughs> See, I don't mind the listing part. I don't mind that at all. I just hate having to put it all away and store it <laughs> and then try oh, to find yeah. it and sell it. <laughs> this is a really pretty one. <clears throat> that is gorgeous. For only five bucks start. And that's oh yeah. Wow. There's Hi, deals with Danny. How are you, Danny? So, <clears throat> yep, it's very artisan, I guess you would say. Yes. Very, very well made. Yes, it is. Very pretty. Gorgeous. Can go with anything. It kind of has a green tint to it on the screen, but there's no green to it. It's no. black. Almost, Almost um, finally. Yeah, Danny, I have a special guest coming on, but I'm not going to tell you who it is until they nope. get here. So you have to see, find out. Yeah. <clears throat> I hear she's purdy. Oh, my guest? Yeah. Uh, uh, I, I don't judge. <laughs> <laughs> so. All right. Anybody interested? Starting bid, only $5. Five little dollars. Oh, snap. Well, oh, snap. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Damn, get in here so you can buy stuff when you get quick driving. Right. <laughs> <laughs> All righty. I don't think anyone wants that. No, nope, I think you have to pass on that one. You have to pass on that one. What are y'all looking for? I got some wire necklaces that invisible wire there's some balls Ooh, that's pretty there's that one <clears throat> and then here's one with all grace let's do them all three for one money let's start them at four dollars for three invisible wire necklaces what that's a great deal i know what i just did to my computer Okay, I fixed it. So, <coughs> do all three of them for one money, four dollars. Hey, I told you I only start stuff at very little above what I pay for it. I know, right? Yeah. That's a heck of a deal. <laughs> yep. If you list, you could list those. Somebody would definitely buy this one. Oh yeah. Well, hell, I think they buy all of them. People love Invisalign. Yes, don't they do. It for some reason that stuff scares me though because uh i had a friend had an invisible wire necklace on and she uh got in an accident and that's the that's what brought her oh, that's not good <clears throat> nope <clears throat> not at all the seat belt was still on her but the rest of her, her uh the invisible wire was not let's just leave it at that Ooh. okay i get it i see, I see a picture here <laughs> Yeah, I don't want to see that picture. Nope, I don't have a picture. Don't want to either. No. Okay. All right. All right. Anybody for necklaces? All three of them starting bid only four dollars. That's 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 deal. Dollar Tree prices now. That's less than Dollar Tree. That's yeah, like that's less than Dollar Tree because uh, you know Dollar Tree <clears throat> has six dollar items now. Yeah, I know that, right? Is that not crazy? And the dollar is a really pretty dollar color. 25 store. <laughs> oh, it's going to go up. It's oh, not know. really a dollar store anymore. Not more. I don't even go there anymore. I don't go there anymore at all. Don't go to Dollar Tree. Don't go to Family Dollar. Don't go to Dollar General. Me either. There's Melinda. Hey, Melinda. Melinda, these necklaces are $3, or I'm sorry, $4 starting bid for all three. <clears throat> We're throwing some deals out today, Melinda. Lots of good deals. Invisalign. I don't know if she likes Invisalign. Oh, there's Ronnie. Just Ronnie. Howdy. Hey, Ronnie. <coughs> Three Invisalign necklaces. You've got the grays and the blacks. Starting bid. And these are all $4. acrylic. Starting bid four dollars for three necklaces. That's awesome. Do not chew on my coffee table, dark. Get you got a. Right oh, Ronnie got her meal today. Did you Wait. open it? She won the bunny. Oh, she, she the did. The bunny. Awesome. I filled it as full as I could get it. 
and I put like saran wrap on it so I could get it together so it wouldn't fall apart. And then I taped it together. <laughs> nice. <laughs> that was a she big one. Oh, wow. Yeah. You better do a video on that, Ronnie. That's what I said. She said she didn't want to be on camera, but she don't have to be on camera. You don't have to be on camera. So I do videos of people's cars and they're not even on camera. So, all right. I guess we will pass on these. Okie dokie. Oh, Jocelyn came in too. I didn't even see Jocelyn. Jocelyn, see. You're debating <laughs> on whether to do a video. Oh, I think it would be cool. I, I mean, think so too. Some content. Yeah, all you hear is and jewelry pops out. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's more than just jewelry in there. Oh, I know. Can't yeah. get away from How many are we doing? Uh, five. Five. Oh my goodness. Okay. I usually okay. do five. It's it's easier that way. All right, we got some uh wire wrapped stones rough cut stones here we've got um rose quartz citrine Ooh. and amethyst see i'm learning i'm learning That's let's good. do a five dollar start for choice for these rough cut stones wire wrapped rough cut stones I have to hide these because my daughter likes the stones and she'll snag them. <coughs> yeah. And she'll take the wire off and snag them. Yeah, me too. <laughs> she can't get away from the auctions long enough. Oh, we got Sean in at five. Well, there is Sean. Hi, Sean. Looking for six. I like that, uh, that citrine one. That's cool. Isn't it now? They are all cool. Oh, yeah. Whew. Yeah, I messaged Sean. I'm like, you watching? <laughs> <laughs> he likes this to buy my jewelry. He does. Hey, I'm I'm just glad he likes it. I'm glad he was happy with his last box. Oh, I, I didn't even I see haven't it. invoiced you yet for Monday because I knew I was going to be here tonight and I knew... You might buy some more. Yeah, smart thinking. I was actually the fourth like. Oh, he was your fourth like. Woohoo! Thank you. Thumbs up. <coughs> yeah, he's been busy all day. Ah. Get stuff done, so. Anybody else looking for $6? Mm -hmm. And my phone's going nuts. Oh, that's all right. I left mine in the other room. All right. All right. We'll start guarding that down. Call it down. Going one time. The sir smokes a lot for five. Looking for six for choice. <clears throat> Man, my voice just cracked. Man, I, I thought it was a teenager for a second there. <laughs> <laughs> Going a second time. The sir smokes a lot for five. Looking for six. <clears throat> Last chance. And we are sold to Sir Smokes a Lot for $5 for choice. Which one? Oh, he wants the citrine. Wants the citrine, okay. Somebody else wants the uh, rose quartz or amethyst? Only $5? Yeah, that citrine was nice. Yeah, it was. It's my, uh, that's my female sibling's birthstone. Oh. <clears throat> no wonder. Okay. All right. All right. We'll take these away. Did you? That's item see that one? Oh yeah, for five dollars. Five dollars start for, for this lovely piece of wire wrapped black acrylic, I believe. But That's it gorgeous. is artisan made, I believe. It very much looks so. It's flexible. That's a starting bit of five. Starting bit of five. I'll bring it back. Now that we've got some more people in here. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, he's been wrapping copper wire all day. He's trying to make uh, some really cool stuff. Oh, cool. So well, if anyone's interested in that, we'll do it as a buy it now, now. Well, now, now. <laughs> uh, yeah, oh, good old Arthur. Huh? Arthritis is not a fun thing. Let me tell you. Okay. We have some pendants. Ooh. 
we have the kind of bluish one and these are cold but not i'm not sure if they're real or not okay because it's cold out here yeah exactly <laughs> so but they, they are kind of opaque oh that's cool but their butterfly pendants we'll start them at four for choice this was that package i opened up that i told you had been hadn't been paid for oh yeah those are gorgeous butterflies i love that purple one isn't that pretty yeah it is purple is my not? favorite color is it i like purple yeah. i have a purple snake no, really. They are, they are kind of opaque. I mean, they, they kind of see through. Not so much the purple one as the other one, but they're pretty. That is very pretty. And it's, I believe it's stainless steel. Yeah. Very cool. Oh, excuse me. We got any butterfly people in the house? I watched the butterfly flutter by on the wisp of a breeze. Okay. See anybody four dollars starting bid for choice? <clears throat> My voice going again. <laughs> oh yeah. Excuse me. Autumn, what are you doing? Don't look at me like that. Don't look at you like well, that. We got no. My dog's looking at me funny. We got Sir Smokes a lot in at four, looking for five. <clears throat> All right, quit that because you're making somebody keeps spraying something here, and I got allergies <laughs> acting up. Ugh. My allergies are just bad. Oh, so we got Sir Smokes a lot in for four, looking for five. All right. Going one time to Sir Smokes a lot for four, looking for five. Hello, Miss Marketplace Boutique. How are you today? Well, hello. Going a second time for four dollars. Looking for five <coughs> for choice. <laughs> Purple, no. <laughs> <laughs> Last chance to bid. Five dollars okay. for choice. We're at four. Looking for five. And we are slot to Sean. <clears throat> All right. Which one or ones would you like? Uh, do, 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 do. Which one would you like, sir? Smokes a lot. <clears throat> Oops. I had my call already, but responded. <laughs> uh, Purple. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Anybody Purple. in? $4 for the blue one. Or the opal looking one. Yeah, I'm not like I said, I'm not sure what it is. It might it might be resin, it might be plastic, it might be I don't know, because it's cold out here, so I can't really tell. Gotcha. <clears throat> so and God only knows what it was because I don't remember. Right. Okay. All right. I think that's a pass on that one. And that was your fifth, correct? Uh, probably. I think so. I lost. It that. looks like a man-made stone. There you go. We'll call it a man-made stone. Man-made moonstone. That means it's my turn, right? Yeah, it means it's your turn. Woohoo! Oh, uh, what do I want to start with? You know what? I've got these two. They're cold. Um, I think they're jadeite or jade. These two little pieces right here, which go for a lot of money, believe it or not. You get both of them for a starting bid of five bucks. Ooh. That one looks like a, a shell, and that one looks like um, one of those things, uh, roly-poly or isopod. <laughs> and they are flat on the back. Starting bid five <laughs> for both of them. And you can see that they are natural stone because there's that inclusion right there. Oh, We got Sean in for five, looking for six. <clears throat> All right. Anyone in for six? Anybody in for At least six? the shipping isn't real bad for him, huh? Yeah, it's uh cost me more in gas and it, it costs me more to crank my car than it does to drive. 
<laughs> because I gotta let it warm up. <laughs> All right. We'll go once. Air one twice. Air warning, it's your snipe time if you want to snipe. Mm -hmm. So does Sir Smokes a lot for fun. Thank you, Sha. Uh, I got to write that down. I brought paper this time. I forgot my paper the last time. Yeah. I had it on like six different envelopes. Robert, you'll need new undies after the rocks he bought the other night. Oh, he, oh. the ones you I got heard. from Brian on my channel? Oh, my gosh. Yeah. That's what I heard. Thank you, Sean. Yeah. All right. Let me see. Item number two. I've got this Poipal Bowl. It is amethyst glass. It's not that heavy. It's got the square base. Um, we're gonna start bidding at five bucks on this. It's you can use it as decorative bowl, or you can do mashed taters or whatever you want in it. Giant yeah. dino egg. Oh. oh my god! I thought that was so awesome. I would have bought it, but it went way beyond my. Oh. Because yeah, I was like, oh my god, my daughter would love that stuff. Yeah, it was just way beyond my price range. <laughs> right? Yeah. That's why I don't have a lot of rocks anymore because uh, I can't afford them anymore. Uh, if he would have brought the dino egg without it being in the lot. Something behind me. Yeah, big ugly guy right there. <laughs> <laughs> I had to change my I had to change where I sit because the dogs take over the couch and I can't move and I don't have room to grab my stuff. And so I just came to the other side of the table. That's a pretty bowl. It is. Yeah. Glass doesn't last long in my house. Oh, this is that good stuff. I actually I have the exact same one I dropped. Oh. And it was fine on concrete. He even bought a dino. Woohoo! He did. There was a little dino in the lot. It was really cute. <laughs> we know who rules the roost. That's right. That new dog we got. Oh. 60 pound 11 month old puppy i don't think anyone i don't see any interest but we'll set that over here but if you change your mind you can always email him and he'll sell it to you right i've got if these find it. fairy lights that are and they're anchors you know what i'm not going to sell that because i just noticed the wire is broken so never mind those are out okay never mind those are out i just noticed there's one missing all right, Driving well, but listening and watching at red lights. All right, Melinda. There you go. Just be careful. I still I, have a butterfly pendant left, Melinda. I've got this Coca-Cola crate, a little small thing. We'll do a $2 starting bid. This is the Coca-Cola company, www.cocacolastore.com. We'll do a $2, what I say, $2 starting bid. Why not? Those are collectible. Ronnie's in for two. Ronnie's in for two. That's a good buy. It's even got that distressed look on it, which is cool. There is a um, Coca-Cola museum here. Ah, yes, there is. Two of them, actually. You have some really fun stuff in your area that I was looking at. Uh-huh. Ronnie's in for two. We're looking for three. This is just a fun piece that I've had for quite a while. And I'm like, you know what? I need to get rid of this. It's just, I was using it to store stuff that I already sold. So it's empty. There's like, a uh, Coca-Cola museum up, up near the Panhandle um, in Romney where the school for the deaf and blind is. Yep. <clears throat> All right. We're going once. If my computer will go. <laughs> This is the one that the keyboard is separated from the monitor. <laughs> but it's taped and uh, check upper messages. Check oh, up. All right. Put the anchors in your box. Okay. Oh, okay. <clears throat> All right. He just wants that copper wire. <laughs> uh, probably. Sold to Ronnie for two dollar. All right, Ronnie, just Ronnie. Goodbye, very goodbye. I'll put that on top of the snake cage over here. 
Okay, this next ones are kind of cool. I'm going to do a dollar bid for choice. This one's a 1999 Hammett and Associates has a phone number on the back. And the other one is cross stitched. They a dollar for choice starting bid. They're paper clips. And this one says I make the difference. It's got an apple and the other one's a butterfly. He uh actually wants the anchors, he says. Oh, okay. <clears throat> So I'll put that in your thing for a dollar. <laughs> so these are a dollar for choice. Starting bid. They're paperclip uh, bookmarks, I guess. Yeah. I just sold a whole bunch of vintage Garfield ones. There for you go. An insanely high price. I'm like, what? Why would you pay that much for plastic paperclips? <laughs> Those are nice bookmarks. Yeah, they're Garfield too. So. <clears throat> I love that butterfly because it's cross stitch. Even on the back, you can see how where they did it. Oh, it's metal cross stitch. Yep. Well, isn't that cool? And this one's got some business on the back. What does he apple one? What does the apple one? It says say? I make the difference, and it's got apples on books. Probably for a teacher. <clears throat> yep, that's what I was thinking. Well, that we got Ronnie in for one, looking for two for choice. Okay, you can't buy a bookmark for that. No, you can't. You can't a paper one for that. I've got I've got a stack of about three hundred paper ones I need to list in one lot. No, oh my. Yeah, I but I just I don't have it in my heart to do it. I just. Ugh. Yeah. There's a buffalo looking for something on your shelf behind you. <laughs> oh, where's the, where is he? Oh, there he's on the. Uh, yeah, that's the water buffalo. That's a thirty pound cat. <laughs> Yeah, Good morning. he's gained weight. <clears throat> he's uh sitting on the uh, the stuff we put on the bottom of the reptile enclosures. All Nicole. right, Ronnie, which one or ones would you like? Gino, I haven't seen Gino in a bazillion years. Hi, Gino. How's it going? Anybody can ride along. There's no problem with that. Ronnie, which one or ones would you like? The butterfly, butterfly one. Anybody in for the apple? You're not going to like what I wrote on the paper. Butterfly <laughs> book. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got this one in for a dollar. Danny's uh, listening and driving. She should be home soon. She should be home soon. Oh, look at there. Boom. Yay. Hello. <laughs> Told you we had a pretty guest coming. <laughs> so we'll bring her up here in a minute. All right. I think that's a pass on that one. You okay. found me. You found me. I did. I did. This next one's kind of cool. Did he text you, Sean, and tell you or something? No. <laughs> All right, this says made in or made in England by Moria Pottery. I just realized that the two of them knew each other. Oh. <laughs> Sir smokes a lot. That's my brother. Oh. This is a, a it's a what do they call that stoneware vase, yep. and it says three tablespoons equals one or three teaspoons equals one tablespoon. Four tablespoons equals a half a cup. Two cups equals one pint. Two pints equals one quart. Four quarts equals one gallon. One ounce equals two tablespoons. Sixteen ounces equals one pint. So you can convert all your stuff over, and it's really cool decoration. And if you look up that um, pottery company, Moira Pottery, that's wicked expensive. This all is right. do a five dollar start on that. Danny, oh, okay, Danny got your email. Okay. I didn't want to interrupt. Oh, oh, that's okay. I do all the time. <laughs> I don't mind. <laughs> I interrupt myself. I'll be like, uh, oh, and by the way. <laughs> <laughs> that's random. He interrupts all the time. <laughs> true, true. I do interrupt myself. And then that other thought just goes. <laughs> right. 
But yes, I did get your information. I was going to start invoicing earlier, and Robert was like, hey, you want to sell tonight? And I was like, hmm, I'll just wait then. <laughs> <laughs> Danny, you just can't get away from me this week. Hey, it's okay. Sure. I'm not mad about it. <laughs> <laughs> I need to put the other day that I'm selling with you in my calendar before I forget. Okay. I think it's a pass next, on that one. Next Wednesday, isn't it? Do you have some knitters in the house? Me. Okay, because I've got... Where is it? Right here. These are circular knitting needles. I've got their bamboo premium. And this is a 24-inch number 8. I don't know what this one is. This one is a 24-inch number 15. And then I got some US 55... Yes, uh, 55 or 25 millimeters. So the US 50, I'm going to do all three starting bid at, we'll do $8 starting bid. Man, I don't know if I could hold them. I know, right? I'm having a hard time. These are chopsticks for me. That's I'm for that great big <laughs> yarn, like cable yarn. I had a keyboard malfunction for a minute. What? Look, I have a keyboard malfunction all the time, but it's user error. Yeah, it's an ID10T error on my end. Yeah. ID one zero T. You say so. Yeah, uh, that's what I said. What do you knit with those? I don't know. These you use for scarfs because I have a whole box of yarn in the basement, and somebody started a scarf, and it's still in there. I have literally a the whole box weighs about twenty five pounds of nothing but yarn. Is it matching yarn? Oh, it's all kinds of different yarn. It's like. It's 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 huge box of yarn. Cause I'm gonna knit some afghans, but I I want it to be all like you know the same colors. Oh, these are these are reams and reams. I haven't looked at all of them. I just know it's all yarn. <clears throat> and I don't. I've inherited so much knitting stuff from my grandma and then my mama and my right. aunt. Well, then you better start knitting, girl. I just sold a whole set of knitting needles on Poshmark and I was surprised. I had them low at $55 and they sold like with really quick. I used to crochet all the time. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny because Robin Williams told a joke on live on Broadway and didn't even get his own joke. Because they said they kicked off a lady with knitting needles from the plane. She goes, what do you do? Think I'm going to knit an afghan? Uh, and he told a joke but didn't even realize he told it. Hey, Batman Mike, what's up, buddy? Hey, Batman. And he told a joke and didn't even realize he told a joke. What am I going to do, knit an afghan? Uh, yeah, that's sorry. cool, Ronnie. Okay. Yeah, I used to crochet all the time until I got arthritis so bad, and then I broke my wrist. And oh, yeah. I'm just too lazy. All right. That's I haven't problem. learned yet how to how to crochet, but I think my I think crocheting is a lot easier than knitting. All right, Danny, you ready? Oh, sure. All right, let's get Danny up here. Boom, Danny. Boom. Ooh, I love the nails. Thank you. This for my mama. Oh, that's so sweet. Leave the I cat alone. I don't know which way to go. <coughs> okay. Which way to leave? It says my it's maharm, mahardam. <laughs> day was yesterday. Woo, who's back? Boo! Woo. Happy birthday tomorrow. Yes, happy birthday, happy birthday tomorrow. tomorrow. All right, my first one. This is going to be a book, and it's going to be a two dollar start. <clears throat> it's Alex Alice McDermott, Charming Billy. You said two dollar starting bid. Uh huh. Alice book. <laughs> that works. Hey, I'm. I, yeah. That's an award winner. Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. This is from 1998. Wow. It's a classic at this point. <laughs> yeah, yeah, real. <laughs> I'm an 80s baby. Does that mean that I'm, I'm um, vintage now? Mm -hmm. Well, they say a car is uh, classic at age 21. That means I'm double classic and more. <sighs> yeah, I'm old. <laughs> That's rude. I'm older. <laughs> I'm older than you, Lisa. 
I don't think so. I'm 47. Oh, okay, you are. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody in for the book starting $2? Alex I almost <laughs> missed the 60s. What's I, that? I almost missed the 60s. Right? I I, I had, saw a couple months of the 60s. Wow. Well, I didn't see any of the 60s. I was born in 77. I was born in 85. Damn. Now I am older than you, Robert. Oh, yeah. Not much. Oh, look, I got my ring today from Brian. And do you know that my stupid behind just put two and two together that that was the same Brian as Glinda, Ann, and Brian that sent me the necklace for Noah? And it just like clicked. Aww. <laughs> Ronnie's way born way before any of us were. Aw. It's so nothing good. wrong with that. It's Gracie and Brian. Cut off for classic is Grace 10 Ann, yes. yes. Grace Ann, yeah. Yes. All Grace right. Ann. Anybody in for the book? A necklace and a beautiful letter. And I would have said thank you in person, but it did not dawn on me that that was the same Brian. Aw. <laughs> Jinx. Oh, oh, Danny cut off. Where'd she go? Okay. There she is. I hide, I hide. Oh, she's rocking it, man. Look at her. She's in that rocker recliner. She's just been having a good old time. <laughs> yeah, see, my thing needed to charge, and the charger is over here. And instead of mm -hmm. me bringing the charger in there, I just came here because. Hey, that's what, hey, whatever works. No, I'm I'm perpetually 29. That's what I keep telling my children. See, hey. I tell people I'm 21 with uh, 46 years experience. <laughs> 20, 26 years experience when alex was about six she looked at me one day and says mom you've been 29 for a very long time you got to be 30 pretty soon <laughs> <laughs> i can do whatever i want That's all right funny. what yeah <laughs> okay these are going to be a three dollar start for choice and i have keychains so there is a pink star or I guess that's I don't know what what color you call that. <clears throat> Tan? I don't know. I don't know. But they're new in package. Nice. I will be your shooting star. I would have kept the pink one, but my keys are so heavy already. And it's not good for your ignition. No. Mine has oh. a push button start. Mm. Lucky you. <laughs> Hey, I had to get something. I was driving my husband's truck. It's too big for me. I sold it. Nice. You sold his truck? Well, he got another one. Oh. <laughs> we had, we had, he had two trucks, and it's not like he needed two trucks. They were both Chevy Silverados. Oh, that's what my dad has. <coughs> Welcome in. Oh, we got just me, 90. Hillary, would you be quiet? Nope. I never quiet. <laughs> oh, you just have to see I'm live. Awesome. Anybody that want dog, a dog? That dog says, talk to me now. Well, the, the lab and the German Mastiff are playing. <laughs> ah. 11 month old weighs 60 pounds. Oh my god, she's huge! Jesus. Yeah, hmm. and we that's our fourth dog we just got. <laughs> All right, anybody in for three dollars for choice on the keychains? Starting bid, you could charge admission to your house because you got a pet in you in there. Oh, uh, well, yeah, some guy paid the mission last night because I he just bought a snake. And I had to buy him a rat because it's he didn't get off of work till seven thirty, and the rat's like another forty minute drive for him, and he lives way down. So, oh, I'm about to have a dog you can fight. You sell food for him to feed the animals. I need to start breeding my own rats. It'd be a lot cheaper. Yeah, because you. I thought you did at one time. No, uh, that was by accident. Yeah, I know. She didn't let you <laughs> feed them to the snakes either, did she? All right. Next 
is going to be a $4 start. All right, Bill. Look. Bill O'Reilly, hardback, killing Patton. You said how much? A $4 start. Okay. You're selling all these, uh, yeah, all these uh, Irish names tonight, O'Reilly and McDermott. And <laughs> there you go. A bill book. Bill book. A bill book. Well, it's funny because uh, when we tell the, our new dog to go to bed, Randall says, river bed. River bed. There you go. <laughs> now she just looked at me like, why? <laughs> <laughs> like, what do I do now? She was trying to eat Tiana, and Tiana went to her cage. $30 book. $30 book. Yeah, those are nice. They're very expensive. It's a good book, too. Do not eat each other, you stupid dogs. Oh, that's my foot. So they're going to eat you instead. They, they are so trying cool. to. Make up your mind. It's us or them. Right? Mm -hmm. It's a dog eat human world. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's just mean. <laughs> River came up and bit the back of Autumn's legs. And now she's going after the cat. <laughs> My cat's going to lose weight because he's 30 pounds and the dog keeps chasing him. So he has to keep running. So it's hilarious. <laughs> All right. Anybody in for the book? Starting bid $4. If you're a reseller, this is a heck of a deal. Even if you're not a reseller and you like to read good stuff, it's a great read. The Strange Death of World War II's Most Audacious Read channel. it and then resell it. Yeah, read it and then resell it. I already read this. It's a good book, isn't it? I bought it thinking that I hadn't read it, but I have a notebook that I keep track of everything I read because I read a lot. And it was already in there. Gotcha. So. And it had a star beside it, which means that I liked it. So. I guess it was a good story. <laughs> That's funny because on my book, she's just got a big X. I had to start writing them down. No, yours are good. I had to start writing them down because I would get like a hundred pages in and be like, "I already this know this story, story sounds really familiar." I used to do that. I, I know, kept, right? I kept the notebook of the books I read because that way, I, well, and then I get irritated because they re-release them under a different name. Yes, and that drives me nuts. That irritates the snot out of me too. All right, this is going to be a $5 start. This is a T.Y. Beanie Buddy. It is a platypus. A what? <laughs> Paddles. A platypus. I don't know how to spell it. How much? Uh, a $5 start. But it still has the hang tag and the tush tag. And it's from 1998. That must be the year. You said five? Mm-hmm. I'm trying to spell platypus. I don't know how. I don't know either. They say if it looks like a duck, walks like a duck, quacks like a duck, lays eggs like a duck, it's probably a platypus. I mean, hey. Right, well, Sean? I'm the same way. I get to read it. I, I get into the story. I get to still read it. This is the... This is from the... <coughs> Pillow Pals collection. Platypus. Okay, she spelled it right. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> oh, it's a Y. Are you I guys getting snow down there, just me? You're supposed. I don't. We're supposed to get snow tonight. I didn't know if you guys were, because she's further south than me. So, don't you ever say those words. I. They're dirty. I know. You don't ever you get snow bears not in here. Not really. We didn't get any. The hell, we didn't even have a winter this year. To be quite honest with you, we barely had one either. We barely had one either. Which I'm fine with that. I have no problem. The other day it was snowing in Ireland. It never snows in Ireland. <laughs> I've, had the, I've had the air on for a couple weeks now. Oh my gosh, wow. I've still got heat on. It's cold here. It's 68 right now here. Oh, eight inches. Heck no. I'm glad I don't live in New York anymore. <laughs> mm, oh my gosh, Melinda. 
No. Well, I, guess, I guess eight inches is better than a foot or more. So Exactly. Anybody in for a platypus? Yeah, it, it was 70-something today here. The temperature here has been up and down and up and down and up and down. It kills everybody's sinuses. You ain't lied about that. I keep having to mute myself because I keep sneezing. <laughs> oh, I'm dying over here. My sinuses are bad today. Anybody in for a parry? A platypus. I thought... I love the colors on it. Oh, I think it's a pass on that one. All right. The next... What else we got? We're doing right, five. Well, I think this is number five for you. Uh huh. And this is going to be a three dollars start. It's Claire's unicorn. I guess they're like cookie sandwiches or something. Cookie sandwiches or something, huh? You said yeah, how much? They look like little macaroni. Bless you. Bless you. They Thank have you. unicorn faces on them. How much did you say starting bid was? Three. Three. Thank you. Maybe I so, but I was teasing in the middle of it, so. It might be macaroons. Who knows? You got them cute unicorn earrings. It's a unicorn, a unicorn. Rainbow unicorns, even. Hmm. Oh, Where I can't is... breathe. Where oh. is Bella? Oh. Ooh. They're so cute. If I still wore earrings, I would totally sport those. <laughs> hey, I used to wear some weird earrings. And then I got spacers, and then I was like, oh, yeah, I took those out, and I'm done. Uh, I actually have three of each ear. I don't <clears throat> don't doubt that at all. <laughs> My husband, one of the first things he did when he got out of the Army was to get an earring. Yeah. And then he didn't wear it very long, and then he took it out. <clears throat> I used to have three holes in the... Oh, I technically still do have three holes in each ear. I just don't wear them. <clears throat> I just have one in each. I got two, but I... Yeah, the top ones have grown over. Ah. Yeah, mine I can still put earrings in. And I haven't worn earrings in my ear since... Well, the bottom earrings since 2004. And before that, all the other ones been since the mid-90s. <clears throat> Oh, I got mine pierced. The top one, well, both of them when I was in my teens. Wow. Um, the top one, just because my mom told me I couldn't. Uh -uh. I was a little bit rebellious. You have no earlobe, yeah. My leprechaun buddy has no earlobes. <laughs> zero, double zero, wow. Wow. I, I was up to a half inch. All right, I think we're calling that one a pass. <clears throat> All righty. Miss Lisa, you ready? Sure. Okie dokie. I got <clears throat> a chunker ring. It's nice. A turtle. It's a lapis lazuli. So it is a size seven, but that's not what the cool part of this ring is. Oh, it's a it's a snuff ring. I mean, a a a a, a, a poison a, ring, and it collapses. It snaps down and it clasps just like that. Here's the undercarriage or the under. Look at that. I just love it. That is cute. That is adorable, but it's a size seven. You got the lapis. <coughs> and let's start it at 10. $10 starting bid. That's a great price for that. Ooh. Poison ring. That's awesome. I haven't seen one of those in a long time. <coughs> oh, we got Sir Smokes a lot in it. 10. We're looking for 11. And I think it's brass. Ooh, even better. Uh, well, <coughs> here's what it says it says pure brass set. There you go. <coughs> so it's a brass set. 
Sorry. Yeah, pure breast. That is cool. I think it's cool. We got Sir Sean in, or Sir Smokes a lot for 10, look for 11. It's a big one, too. I mean, yeah, it is. Wow. I can't fit it on any but my pinky because it's a size seven. But it's no, a, I know not to hang out. If my brother wins this, I know not to hang out with him and eat while he's wearing that. <laughs> take it off and slip something yeah, right? into your, your food. <clears throat> exactly. It's cool, though. <laughs> Very cool. Okay, now that the sun's down, I can get that off my window. <laughs> there you go. I have my hoodie over the window so I could, yeah, so I could uh, block the sun. I try to get different stuff occasionally. <laughs> All right, looking for 11. Going one time to Sir Smokes a lot. <coughs> He cracked me up with his emails. No, all right. <laughs> Woo! Ran out of the uh, they got this turtle for 10, looking for 11 last chance. Size seven. Yes, uh, <laughs> yeah. Mm, big old lap of stone there on the end. Oh, I'm about to kill some dogs. No. And we are sold to Sean. Congratulations, Sean. <coughs> That's a pretty one. <coughs> yeah, it is. We have us a tiger's eye Ooh. with a butterfly. Let's see what it says about this one. Oh, let's see. Yellow tiger's eye, silver tone, stainless steel, 18 <coughs> inches with a two inch extender, 40 carat. <laughs> So let's do, I don't know, let's do $10 on this one too. Wow. On one. I know, but I told you, if I get a good deal, everyone gets a good deal. I agree. <clears throat> if you're a reseller and you like this list, you'll make some money off of these. Oh, I'm sure. That is gorgeous. Hey, <clears throat> if I make a, a buck or two, I'm happy. <laughs> <laughs> that way it gives it room if somebody wants to like bid. Oh yeah, oh, <clears throat> that is gorgeous. That's a big hunk of tiger's eye. Yeah, forty carats. <clears throat> That's insane. And it's really pretty. And it's stainless steel. You don't have to worry about it tarnishing. There you go. And I like the diamond cut on those butterfly wings too. Yep. Very pretty. Yeah, it is. I just said Randall in the link so she can come on and say hi. <laughs> there you go. And you know what? If it doesn't sell, I may just raise the price next time. <laughs> exactly. That's great. That's a great necklace for that price. It really is. Tiger's eye and a butterfly. Two things that people like. That's right. <laughs> Oh, come on. Leave the cats alone. I'm going to let these dogs out. I'll be right back. Okay. Miss Carol. Miss Carol. We have hey, a tiger's Carol. eye and a butterfly. It's $10. I know she loves her tiger's eye and she loves her butterflies. It's Miss Crafty Songbird. Hi, Carol. How are you? Good to see you. She's probably like yelling at the screen right now. Lisa, you know I like butterflies and tiger's eye. I know, right? It's funny because uh, the dogs heard me say Randa and they went running outside thinking she's home. Oh. <laughs> <coughs> All right, we will. Okay, put it, I was getting ready to say pass, and she just put it in my box. All right, we Poor sold honey. it. Goodbye. That is a great buy. It is. <clears throat> her name on that. She knows how my stuff goes. Oh, yeah. All right. 
<laughs> is a labradorite ring in a platinum bond size 11. We're going to start this at $20. I'm going to show the sides. I didn't realize I was still muted. <laughs> well, size we got, 11. We got Sir Smokes a lot in at 20. I hate when your eyes get dilated. That's terrible. Oh, yeah. Oh, that, yeah. The only thing that helps me is to take a nap. I have to sleep and to get them to go back to normal. That's my excuse for everything. I just need a nap. So I got an F on my test. I just need a nap. <laughs> like me. <clears throat> we got Sir Smokes a lot in at 20, looking for 21. I've got to put my hand behind that or it's in a little show. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody in for 21? Mm -hmm. Going one time to serve smokes a lot. Looking for 21. <laughs> Wells Fargo, Venus in my eyes. I'm okay, but they want me to have cataract surgery. Ooh. Ooh. That's the best horror flick I ever saw in my life was my grandma's cataract surgery on VHS. Oh, <laughs> on VHS? Yeah. They taped surgeries then? Yeah, they filmed it for my grandma. I was like, dude, that was the best 20-minute horror flick ever. Oh, jeez. They okay. did this little jackhammer. Brrr, and we are sold to Sean. All right. Congratulations. You're keeping Great track job. of how many, right? What's that? You're keeping track of how many, right? Uh, what was I supposed to? Three. Yeah, that was three. Okay. I think it was four, wasn't it? Was it four? I don't know. Could have, yeah, I don't know. Just do another one. <laughs> I don't know. Janice! Hi, Janice. Yeah, we see you. All right. Here we have. <laughs> you need to have the surgery, Carol. It's very helpful. <clears throat> yep. Ooh. Yeah. We have us a little four-leaf clover pendant. 20-inch chain. It's 18-karat yellow gold-plated. It's very cute. <clears throat> What's your starting bit on this? Uh, 12. 12. Great. Bye. <clears throat> Come back. Oh, I'm going to kill my dog. <clears throat> you got yourself a 20 inch chain there. Where these dogs come in the house, you think I'd let the horses in. Ugh. Anybody in for 12 little bitty dollars? Kind of. There's the sides. That is beautiful. I love the color of that stone, too. Yeah, I don't know what it is, oh. but it looks purple to me, but blue on the screen. A red line on the side of your name. I don't see that. I want to figure out what a red line on the side of my name means. Yeah, I don't see that. But I'm also in StreamYard. Not, oh, let me get my tablet. Where the hell is my tablet? Yeah, I don't see a red line on the side of your name either. On I'm, And I'm on both StreamYard and YouTube. And I got my TV on and I don't see it either. Huh, uh, it must just be your... <coughs> on your... So. Oh, he, I, I drop my phone all the time. Me too. I usually just drop the ball on most things. All right. Any interest in this pretty little four-leaf clover? <laughs> okay. That's a pass, and I think that was five. That was five, so that means it's my turn, right? Yes. Woohoo! All right, I got these things. They are severely creepy. 
and I want them out of my house. I don't like them. I don't like them. Snakes? Uh, no, I love those. Oh, I, I, you said there was something creepy in your house, and I was like, snakes? Well, the tarantulas are creepier than the snakes. Mm, so. This is in the box. It is Polly's Tea Party. In the box, the original box. And it is porcelain face and hands. Mm. This is a really creepy doll. I don't like dolls. They creep me out. It's got the stand and everything. <clears throat> We're going to start bidding at 15 And if you look this thing up on eBay, people are insane when it comes to dolls. People but, are insane anyway. <clears throat> I agree. <clears throat> Especially those that own snakes and tarantulas. But you can see, that is just, I don't like dolls. <clears throat> That's all that matters. Creepy doll. <laughs> I don't like dolls. They creep me out. I don't like those little faces just staring at me. And I put these in a box elsewhere, and I found the box somewhere else. Ah, okay. So, I'm so they moved on you. They did. So they're super creepy. Super creepy. Okay. Wow. There's an auction tonight, and they just sold a baby grand piano for twenty three hundred bucks. Dang! And they got a ton of uh, what is that stuff? Wizard of Oz. <clears throat> oh, don't you have a Wizard of Oz person that likes? She's in the Bahamas. Oh. I texted okay. her, and she goes, "I'm in the Bahamas." I'm like, "That must be nice," because she just got back from Texas, and before that, she was in Florida, and then she was in Kansas before that. <laughs> wow. Well, but she's retired. Yeah. She's enjoying life. That's all that matters. Well, there you go. <clears throat> Anybody in for a starting bit on this Polly's Tea Party doll? Original box. Please. I don't like it. And this, well, well, let's see what's in here. In there, there's a little box in here. And inside of that box is the teapot. And the teapot is actually broken, so I didn't realize that was in there. So, okay. It comes with a broken teapot. Okay. But, so, it actually has the teapot that came with it. So, if nobody wants it, then I'm going to take this out back and hit it with a hammer. Uh, put it on the cost marker. I will. I'm just, I don't like listing dolls. They just really, really creep me out. All right, we'll move that over here somewhere. Yeah. Next one is the Ashton Drake Galleries. It says Winterfest. Uh, this one has a whole bunch of stuff with it, too. It's got a hockey stick. It's in the original box. We're going to do a $15 start on this one also. It's got a hockey stick in there. And it's got a stand. It's on the stand. And, yeah, $15 starting bid on this creepy-ass doll. You've got the original plastic. Ugh. Hockey stick. <clears throat> yeah. And these are really expensive. And at 15 bucks, it's less than, I think it's about 5% of what they go for on eBay. So if you're a reseller and you like dolls, <clears throat> look at this cute little smiling evil face. Smiling evil face. <laughs> That's not that bad. I've seen worse. Yeah, I agree. But I still don't like them. <clears throat> well, you were never a little girl. I, I had a doll when I was a uh, young boy. I had the Flower Patch Kids, which got sued by Cabbage Patch, and now they are known as the My Buddy Dolls. Ah. And Kid Sister. They even got the original, as Brian is his name. <clears throat> I guess everybody's like me and doesn't like creepy dolls. Okay, I'm, I'm putting them away because I don't, I, I can't look at that anymore. Oh. Yes. Yeah. I'm done. Ah. Oh. Okay. Turn around. Oh, look. they missed it. You I was going to look at it even bigger on your screen. No, I don't like dolls. 
Oh, oh. No, I don't care for them either. Oh, you mean turn around and look at it back there? Yeah. Turn the microphone to point him like a jeans. <laughs> there you go. That's all you, buddy. Okay, that's number two. That one I'm not bringing up because I don't like that either. Where was I going? Oh, this is pretty neat. This is an interesting piece. This is by A&D Enterprises, made in Italy, but it was sold in Schaumburg, Illinois. So it has the – who sold it? This is a wood carving. It's a veterinarian giving a dog a shot. Uh, the dog's on a pedestal. I'll do a $7 start on this one. <clears throat> a little wiener dog there, it looks like. And he's at the vet getting shooted. Your hubby still has his buddy doll. That's awesome. I gave mine to my child. What are you starting that one at? Uh, uh, Seven dollars. Okay. It is real wood, hand carved, or yeah, all hand done. And you see on the bottom, made in Italia. And then that's the company that sold it, A&D Enterprises. <clears throat> These are actually popular on eBay, too. I had a whole bunch of different ones, and I sold a bunch, but I forgot. Uh, this one was in the creepy doll box. That's why I couldn't find it. I was too scared to put my hands in there and touch the dolls. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I don't like dolls. They really creep me out. I turn my computer. I can see. There we go. <sighs> we got search books a lot in at seven. Looking for eight. Hmm. I don't even want to know what he's going to do to this thing. <laughs> Sell it, maybe. Oh no, he uh, he likes to uh, destroy, repurpose them, and remake them into things. Oh, well, there's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> oh no, I, I sold him a teddy bear, and he turned it into a clown, and had a snowman head in his head, but he decapitated it, and it was just, it was awesome. <laughs> Have you been around my kids? <laughs> That's something they would do. Yeah. He's he's a really good artist. He does some fun stuff. Well, you've seen the stuff that Katie does. Oh, yeah. She does good stuff, too. Oh, she's only started. I mean, give her a couple years. I was at my uh, the guy that sells my rats, and he uh, his son has been making uh, cutting boards and putting them on, uh, up on eBay and selling for like two dollars $300 a piece. And there was one in there last night. I was like, dude, how much for that? And he goes, oh. I think my son's asking like 350. I'm like, yeah, he. That I would buy it. It was gorgeous. But he's only in high school, and this is for his wood shop. So oh, yeah. Like, Damn. No. Katie came home today telling about the kid that's supposed to go to the competition this year. The competition's tomorrow. He got kicked out of school for three days. Nice. He grabbed somebody's butt. Hey, well, you know, can't be doing that. One, two, three. All right. I have five of these. They're sold as a set because there's five of them. Uh, we're going to do starting bid at $5. And they are little teacups, I guess. But there's a set of five. And I can't hold all five. Well, I guess I can. I just don't want to because I drop stuff. You guys know. Bid of what? <sighs> <clears throat> Will you start in the map? Five bucks for the whole set, all five of them. Now, you know what my family would use that for would be dipping sauces. Dipping sauces or rice? Well, they don't. Only one eats rice. <laughs> See, I would put my ketchup and mustard in there, stir it together, and dip my chicken nuggies or my chicken strips or something. <clears throat> It doesn't give me a brand name or anything, but these are really cool. And you can see the design on there, and it's plain everywhere else. Nice little nice little cup there. I think they're teacups. I don't know. I call them teacups. <coughs> Ooh, don't, I'm, see, that's why I didn't pick them all up. I'm about to drop them. I'm going to set them down and just hold one up. That's a smart thing to do. <laughs> I just like the design on them. Oh, 
All right, I don't think anybody's interested in those. Put those back in there. <clears throat> All right, the next item I have, it's a Memo Mate Spring Loaded Metal Case Notepad Pen and two refill pads included. So you got the one refill pad here. There's one on the inside. Comes with the pen. We'll do a buy it now of $3 on this. It's got a dragon and it's orange. Oh, cool. I was going to use it to keep my mileage, but I didn't have enough paper in there. So, <clears throat> buy it now, $3 for the Dragon Memo Pad. Anybody for three dollars? And it does have the it's got a pad on the inside. Let me pull it out and I'll show you what it looks like on the inside. It's really nice. This thing is really cool. Um I think I have to have the pin out to open it. Yeah, there we go. Have to have the pin out to open it. A couple pieces have been it's buy it now three, Janice. Yep, buy it now for three. It did, mm -hmm. did have a couple pieces of paper on top that I pulled off because they were ripped. You know what, Janice? I'll do $2. That's fine. Sorry. Oh, did you say two or three? He said three. I said three, but I'll, I'll, I'll sell it to you for two. That's fine. All right. I'll just add it to your box. She come back in at three. That's okay. I said two. That's fine. Very good. It's, Hello, it's Treasure cool. Scavengers. How are you doing today? Haven't seen oh. you for a minute. Not since last week. Oh, yeah. True. <laughs> 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 I've been really busy. I haven't been watching anybody's YouTube channels lately. All right. I'll put that over here on Janice's box. All right, and that was mine, so I think it's Miss Danny's turn. Who, oh, me? Yes, ma'am, you. Oh, you. Let me be. Hold on. Let me get some coffee. You've been practicing with that hair in the pole? With what? The hair and the pole. Remember you oh, no. pole dancing lessons? Not yet. I'm tired. Okay. That works. I'm tired. You tired? Okay. All right. So these are going to be a $7 start. These are Madison Studio by Danecraft. And they are 24 karat gold over sterling. Oh, Danecraft. Nice. Very and nice. They don't have stoppers, but I love that they have the thicker post. I'm not going to take it off because I'll lose it. <coughs> Those are nice. <coughs> they are nice. Anybody in? $7. You have a $40 price tag on them. Yeah, those are great to read. Yeah. <laughs> well, let's see. What's the bottom say? It's 24 karat Her gold over stirring. over stirring. Yeah. Stirring. Over stirring. Dana says oh. how Noah's doing. <clears throat> Don't stir it too much there, Danny. He's doing really good. Um, He has a procedure. We have to be at the hospital at 6 a.m. Oh, boy. Um, but they're, they're going to do a balloon to dilate his airway because it narrowed after he was intubated. Oh, oh, yeah, that happens. And then after that, <clears throat> hopefully as long as everything is good, then he will go back to school on Monday. Oh, wow. Good for him. I bet he's missing it. Oh, yeah. His uh, his wounds are all healed. He's just at the moisturizing stage. Okay. Now, and then he ended up getting yeah. MRSA, but that's gone. Oh, wow, yeah. Noah, take your meds. Speaking of. <laughs> <laughs> I said MRSA technically never goes away. Oh, great. It's a, yeah, it's if you have it, you from that point on the rest of your life, it's they give you head. your own hospital room. You yeah, he um, <clears throat> they tried to say that it was folliculitis at first because, because the fire had like taken all his hair off. And they said that it was growing back 
kind of like ingrown hairs. Oh, but wow. All my hair. Well, not all your hair. It didn't take a single one of my hair. It took the, your hair on the top of your head was all that was left. Oh, wow. But he didn't have leg hairs, eyebrows, nose hairs, wow. arm hairs. And he did keep half of his eyelashes because he squinted really hard. No. Oh. So it just got like the, it, it made him like even across. Wow. But, but he's doing great. Yeah. There he is. Well, he had, a, awesome. he, had a, he had an instant mohawk. That was cool. Yeah, almost. <laughs> he almost. All right. The next is going to be a $3 buy it now. And this is a kid's book, What Makes a Monster. Obviously, I spent three fifty, so I'll do it for three bucks. But it's basically just cool animals. Robert might have some of these at his house. Wouldn't doubt it. Be. Let's see. <coughs> a, a horror frog. Uh, nope, I've been trying to find one, though. Uh, oh, no, you don't have any birds, do you? Yes, I do. Oh, just kidding. A Komodo dragon? Uh, no, those are illegal. Yeah, oh. my daughter loves those suckers. Oh, my God. A Japanese giant hornet? No, we don't want, no. We want those. No, don't want those. A honey guide? A what? A honey guide? It's a bird. No, don't have those. Look, it looks nice. Oh, that is pretty. But it's in a monster book, though. I don't know. Mm -hmm. They probably eat flesh. <laughs> They might. Oh, what is this thing? A, mm -mm. An A-A-I-I? An I-I? -I? <laughs> yeah, I-I, yes. That's a type of marsupial. Oh, no, it's not a marsupial. It's like a, in the raccoon or ferret family. I don't remember. I was going to say, it looks like a dang possum. <clears throat> TMI, I had MRSA on a lower abdominal wound that ended up getting infected. The doctor didn't call. To say it was MRSA, my ex-wife and I were intimate, and she contacted MRSA, and yeah. Yeah. Yep. Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, my God. Yeah, they, well, they started him on an antibiotic, and then they, like, popped one and swabbed it, and then, like, she came back, and she's like, just throw away that antibiotic, because he has a strain that is resistant to that medicine so he can only take this medicine and i'm like great nice he was like four days in on yeah. the other one. Oh, that's where this went what i just found something i've been looking for forever don't you love that and i'm keeping this because it was yeah well yes you've been looking for it forever you better yeah it's the mount horeb uh Muster Museum, which is no longer in Mount Horeb, and it's one of the first jars that they ever had. So, it's really cool. <laughs> okay. All right. So, this is going to be a $2 start. Oh, it is a kid's, it's a kid's chapter book. And it's a $2 start. The Bald Bandit. Um, I never booed. Instead of book, my fat fingers got in the way. Well, yeah. it wasn't your fault. You didn't know. Well, the way she treated him, she probably deserved it anyway. Wow. Well, I didn't say that. <coughs> yeah, I, I did. I, said I don't know her, so I can't attest to that, but you know. <laughs> you don't want to know her. 99% okay. of the people that know her don't want to know her. Wow. She's been kicked out of several churches. We got Sean in at two looking for three. Man, how do you get kicked out of a church? Right, being a conceited biscuit eater. Oh, oh okay. <clears throat> and starting drama, trying to no. say to trying You're to say my... that the pastor made a pass on you when he wasn't even there that day. Oh, when my <clears throat> mom was um, really involved with the cult that they used to call a church. Oh yeah, a lot. Um, they kicked people out for not tithing enough and coming. Homeless people that came in, they kicked them out and things That's like the, that. Nowhere in the Bible does it say to tithe. Yeah. <laughs> he robbed, this guy robbed the bank. Oh, that's why he's the bald bandit. It says a bandit has robbed the Green Lawn Savings Bank. Dink and his friends Josh and Ruth Rose are ready to help. All right, we're going one time to Sir Sean looking for $3. 
That is awful. Like, how do you... How do you... Are you just... I couldn't imagine the type of person that you would be to have to to get kicked out of a church. Oh, she's been kicked out of several. Not just one. Goodness. I know <clears throat> the Lord is forgiving and all, but... <laughs> All right, we are sold to Sir Smokes a lot. Thank you. I haven't invoiced you, obviously, so I'll just add it together. I didn't invoice him yet for Monday either. I bet Brian did. <laughs> <laughs> I got mine from Brian already. It came today. Yes, I let it go. Sorry. The ring ever. I know, right? I got one from Brian today, too. Okay, this one is going to be a $4 start. It is from 1971, and it is a Teach Yourself Guitar book. Don't invoice Don't me. me. <laughs> <laughs> I'll hold it. I was going to email you. Two boxes. <laughs> Oh gosh, you ended. Oh yeah, you did end up with all those stones. Yeah, but this is. It says here copyright 1971. Nice. Beacon Beacon Music Company. Sean, you got a guitar? There you go. <laughs> I'll hold yours, Melinda. I was gonna email you. Like, do you really just want me to invoice you for this, or do you want to wait? I normally do like if like Lisa has only one thing, so she'll probably tell me to just hold it. Yeah. Most people I already know the answer. Yeah. It says for beginners who want to play immediately without learning to read music. Introduces bluegrass, boogie, country western, finger walk <coughs> progressions, and folk. I never learned to read, let alone music. Somebody broke the bottom string. Oh, yeah. I know. You should kick that guy's ass. You can only buy the bottom string if you buy the whole kit. <clears throat> really? Yep. That tiny little string, they don't sell by itself. Oh. <laughs> That's not good. Oh, there's Yankee Doodle in here. Huh. Well, that, why would they not sell it separate? Because it's the one that breaks the most, so they have to get their money's worth. <laughs> well, well, if it breaks the most, then you would think that they would get their money's worth. You would know they don't, because that little string isn't worth the, like 12 cents, so they have to sell you the whole pack of the strings for 50. Oh. <laughs> well, there's that. There's that. It's called capitalism. <clears throat> All right, anybody in? Oh, that's where those went. Okay. I have to get the smoke cleaned off too, so I get all the strings replaced. There you go. <clears throat> all right, I think it's a pass on that one. Who's that, number four or five? It's number four. And my last one is this it's just a dollar. It's a Junie B. Jones, but it's a dollar because it's a little messed up right here. But the inside of the book is perfectly fine. Oh, yeah. Looks like this is a reading level 2.3 guided reading level M. Okay. If you say so. I might be able to read that. <clears throat> My kids like jump letters so much I could never keep up anyways. <laughs> uh, they, because they always read books when they were little because I was always reading. So by the time they would start the grade, it'd be like their needed reading level to pass is this. And they were at like one level before that anyway. So wow, it was just, I never, well, you probably couldn't pay them to read now, but. <laughs> I never learned to read. My degree's in writing. You always say that. I always tell people I can't read my own handwriting, and the sad part about that is I type everything. Uh -huh. <clears throat> Anybody in for a book for $1? Is 
Zane waiting for your package, and I survived the books. Oh, that one is coming, I think. <laughs> I dropped stuff off at the post office this morning, but I don't remember whose it was. I have no idea. <laughs> I don't even have to go to the post office. I put mine on my porch, leave a sign, and they pick it up. They won't. I've tr I've put them. I've put packages in the mailbox with the flag up. They leave them. Yep. What? I can't schedule. I've tried like a million times to schedule a pickup for my house, and it will not do it. Oh wow, Sean, that's awesome. Yeah. Oh, wow. Then unimpeached Bill Clinton. <laughs> Cool. All right, so I think that's a pass on that one. Now it's Miss Lisa's turn. Okay. <coughs> All right. We have titanium gray moonstone. Very, very cool. In stainless steel, the ring is a size eight, but it also comes with a pendant, which is also the same gray moonstone. It is. A 20 inch necklace chain on it, but the cool thing is look, it's magnetic. I love nice. these things, those things are awesome. They are those so those with big hands and arthritis. We can actually close it. So, you've got stainless steel, but you've got the titanium gray moonstone. All right, what's your start? Awesome, we're gonna start this at 12 for the set. Very nice. Good price. Size 8 ring. <coughs> it's 8.15 carats. Wow. It oh. is? Yes. If you didn't get your packages out yet this morning, then they'll go out on Monday because I'll be at the hospital with Noah tomorrow. Here's one. And obviously the post office. And, oh, and here the UPS store won't take USPS packages anymore either. They don't do that here either. We got they used to I guess there's staffing issues. Oh, that is sad. And added it to my Aww. necklace. Oh. <gasps> no, sad stoner. <laughs> He's in a smoky haze is what he told me in an email. I, I had to laugh. <laughs> you got to see some of the messages he sends me at 3 o'clock in the morning while he's uh, um, uh, in a haze. <laughs> in a smoky haze? Yeah. Did you do a, a video of unboxing of the stuff you got from me, Sean? Because you had asked if you could. I don't remember if you did or not. Oh, he asked me, and I said, sure, I don't care. Uh, I know he did one of Anna's, and then he deleted it because he had issues with it. So, Oh. But I don't think he did yours. So we got Sean in for 12. We're looking for 13. This is cool. <sighs> That is very cool. I love that titanium gray. Moon it's gorgeous. And it's stainless steel. It'll never have need polishing. I have not. I started mixing things in before I recorded. Oh, well. You guys hear the dogs? Uh-uh. That's because they're asleep, finally. Oh, <laughs> that's cool. All right, go ahead and call it. All right, we'll start calling that down. The Sir Smokes a lot going one time. Anybody want to snipe? You might want to start thinking about it right quick because we're going a second time. Right, quick, like, and in a hurry. Hey, I love this. I just think it's gorgeous. Seven ring is finally off. <laughs> oh, yeah, he told me he put that ring on. It was, I think it was a lab, laboratory, and he said he put it on and he couldn't get it off. Yeah, I heard about that one, too. <laughs> I couldn't help but laugh. I had to laugh. And we are sold to Sean. I, I, I figured out that clasps. my middle fingers are size 7. Really? I'm okay. figuring out my ring sizes as I buy rings from people. <laughs> my, middle, my middle finger is one size, and it only goes up. Okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> All right. This is a Amazonite. Pinned in platinum bond. You got a stainless steel chain that's 20 inches. And it's a really pretty Amazonite. Oh, let me get you a key. 49.65 carats. Wow, that's that's a, a rock at that point. That's huge. 
Yeah. That's a boulder. That's not really that big, but it, it sounds like a lot when you're talking carrots. Yo, I know. <laughs> so, um, let's start it at 15. Sweet deal. <clears throat> Just the stone itself is worth more than that. I know, but you know, like <clears throat> I always say, if I get a deal. Yes, please hit that thumbs up. We got Sir Smokes a lot in it at 15. Anna, how have you been? I haven't seen you in forever. I feel like I haven't seen anybody. It's my own fault. You saw me. Well, yeah, I see me. <laughs> I still feel like I've been, well, I have been gone for forever. No. And then, of course, so when I was of American here. stuff. Um, Today. You know, I just picked up, and I don't have it yet. I just picked up a Native American um <clears throat> Not that long ago, it's a pendant, sterling silver, and I think Sleeping Beauty turquoise. I do not have any Native American stuff today because I sold some of it, and the rest of it I haven't been able to discover yet. Coloring books, both kid and adult. Uh, somewhere. I have, I have, to, I have I to dig those out, too. I've been looking for them, but I can't find them. I have some adult ones somewhere. I have a stack of like 30 adult coloring All right, books. Go ahead and, let's go ahead and call this. this All one. right. Going one time to Sean. Looking for 16. I'll go on a second time to Sean. Looking for 16. My fat finger syndrome kicked in and I typed <laughs> something really weird. <laughs> Last call. We are sold to Mr. Sir Smokes a lot. Sir Smokes a lot. Okay. Here is amethyst, beaded bracelet, sterling silver, seven and a quarter is the size. And it is 30 carats total weight. That's gorgeous. It is gorgeous. So we're going to start this one at 15. Awesome. I can't spell amethyst, so beaded bracelet it is. A-M-E-T-H-Y-S-T. That's what I have, but it still said it was wrong. Um, <laughs> Probably it, is, it, it, is in, it is in sterling silver. That is gorgeous. It is. <clears throat> and I love that light amethyst like that. That is just so pretty. Only 15 starting bid. That's a heck of a deal. Look at the shine and the, or whatever they call that, the flash. The sparkle. The flash. Yeah, the flash. It's gorgeous. It's a very pretty piece. Yeah, I just I, I, I tried uh, doing some beads like that once, but my hands are so big. Well, it's multi. It's like three strands that are. Oh, that's whew, that's gorgeous. Yeah, three small strands hooked together. <clears throat> that's why it's got so much carrot. Because yeah. it's tiny, tiny little beads. Are they seed beads or? They just said beaded bracelet. Oh, okay. I yeah, think they're like smaller seed than seed beads. <laughs> They're smaller than seed beads. Wow. Yeah, they're tiny. I could, yeah, my hands are way too big for that. <laughs> that is beautiful. Well, I mean, compared to my wrist, look. Oh, I know. I see that. Look how tiny those seed be or those little beads are. Wow, that's crazy. Beautiful, beautiful piece. It's a lot of craftsmanship there. Oh yeah. Most of the stuff I have is home is homemade. Which is even more impressive. Yeah. <laughs> Do not chew your tail. Thank you. I don't have a tail. Uh oh. Okay. So, all right. Well, I think that's a pass. Yeah, I'm thinking so too. Mm, that's okay. That's not a big deal. And what was that, number three or four? That was three because I had five laying out. Yep, there you go. Okay. That's, so I figured out if I lay out five, then I'm, I'm good to go. All right, this is a gorgeous little brooch. 
Oh, that name. is nice. It's a white freshwater pearl and white mother of pearl. And it, it's going to start at $12. That is gorgeous. Gold tone. Here's the back. Oh, wow. Look at that. You've got this big white freshwater pearl, <laughs> and then you've got all that mother of pearl in there. Mother of pearl? Mm hmm. That's, uh, what is it? Um, the movie. Uh, Lucas, they say, mother of pearl. <laughs> <clears throat> that is beautiful. It is. It's a gorgeous brooch. It's not huge, but it's like quality. Completely. Yeah. I discovered how to actually find freshwater pearls here, but I don't know if I have to have a permit to get them. But if you call and ask, of course you do. Nobody can answer. No. Um, I've called the Fish and Wildlife, and they're like, I don't know. It's easier to apologize than it is to ask permission. Yeah, with an $1,800 fine, I think I'll ask permission. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but if no one knows. Yeah, well, if they see me out there pulling up big old clams, they can produce up to 20 pearls at a time, and they usually have a pink hue to them. So if I get a oh, bunch, wow. I'm going to start selling them out here. <laughs> there you go. Hand dug. <laughs> and I'll eat the clams. All right. I think that is a pass on that one. That's a pass on that one. That's a shame. Okay. That's this weird. is something I don't hardly ever get. This is something that was just very, very unique to get. It is a Sleeping Beauty turquoise. Ooh. Size eight. It is 0.65 carats. And stainless steel. Oh, and I'm going to start it at 18. Nice. That Sleeping Beauty turquoise is gorgeous. That Sleeping Beauty turquoise is, is very rare anymore. Very you can't rare. Really get it anymore. So that's about as close to Native American as we're going to get right now. <laughs> that's a yeah, well. That is gorgeous. Wow. The Sleeping Beauty turquoise piece is, is worth $18 at least. Just, yeah, just that little piece. Just that little tiny piece. That and the, the ring is gorgeous itself. Yeah, it is. Yeah, trying to find Sleeping Beauty uh, Sleeping Beauty turquoise anymore is like, you this have a better chance. You have a better chance of finding an honest politician. I, this is the, this is the <laughs> only piece of Sleeping Beauty turquoise I have right now. Wow. I've, I've, I've had three pieces in my lifetime, and I've been doing this since I was about seven years old. Well, this is the first one and the only one I have. Wow. Just as soon as you start doing all that, they will know no, the answer. answer. Them. Yeah, right? So it's a size 8 Sleeping Beauty turquoise. And it's not going to hurt my feelings if it doesn't sell. Not one bit. Not at all. Because it's really hard to get. Yes, it is. Well, I've been trying to get some for over a year. This is yeah. the first piece that I got that I could afford that to bring and sell. Because, like I said, I don't really make a big profit off of stuff. Okay, I think that is a pass, and that is my five. That is your five. That means it's my turn again, isn't it? Yep. And I will be right back in a second. I got to go turn right. the heat off. It's hot. I will be right here. All right. So first off, I've got these cute little bear salt and pepper shakers. They're supposed to hang on something, but I don't know what they hang on. I got them like this. We're going to start bidding at a dollar for the cute little bears. Oh. They are salt and pepper shakers. Selling and bears for a dollar? Yeah, they're supposed to hang on something, but I don't know what they hang on. So I figured a dollar makes it fair because I don't know. You can always put them on a the hook and just hang them. I don't know. <laughs> they're adorable. And they still have stoppers in them, too, which is, you know how hard that is to get? <laughs> yeah. Well, you can buy those stoppers on Amazon. Shh. <laughs> <laughs> Without that much. Yeah, but they're more than a dollar for both of them. Well, yeah. Oh, yeah. Probably. So, two little bears yeah. for a dollar. Yeah, that probably was what it was. Probably a tree. Yeah, I don't know where the tree is. Because um, I didn't get the tree when I, I bought these at auction with a whole bunch of other stuff. And, uh, yeah. 
Kill five. We got Janice in for a dollar. Looking for two. I just like bears. They're cute. Leave the cat alone. Why are you starting in, Autumn? <sighs> Anybody in for two dollars? All right, we're gonna count it down. That's Janice, fine. Janice gets some good deals, let me tell you. She does. She's got she's a good eye a for good stuff, shopper. too. She's a good shopper. She is. You got your Christmas shopping done yet, Janice? Is that what you're doing, or are you buying all this for yourself? <laughs> all right. Fingers work. Right, that's the hard part is getting your fingers to work. Mm -hmm. search a lot of them that are hanging on a stump with two broken branches. Ah, very good. Ah. Now that I know, I did have that. It was shattered. So there we go. Ah. Okay, bears are sold. Okay, next I have... What do I have? I have a skunk. A skunk? I have a skunk. Just this cute little... A puppy Le Pew. I think it's resin. You can see he's got a couple of little scuff marks on him, but you take a black marker, it'll be fine. Look at that face. We're going to do a $3 starting bid on this guy. He's got a big old poofy tail. He's so cute. Do a $3 starting bid on a skunk. <clears throat> if he doesn't sell, I'm going to put it in with my weasels. <laughs> well, good for you, Janice. I'm happy for you. Oh, yes. She she's gets some good deals. She's she's got an eye for buying, <clears throat> and the fact that she got it all for herself that's even better. <laughs> we got Sir Smokes a lot for three, looking for four. There's no other interest. We can start calling that down. Okay. Thank you for uh, modding, Lisa. <laughs> oh, no problem. <clears throat> if the fingers and the computer cooperate, we're good. Exactly. <laughs> That's my biggest problem. My brain doesn't connect somewhere. Sold, sold, sold. Sold to Sean. Goodbye. Goodbye. All right. So we got bear, skunk. What do I want to do next? Uh, you know what? I got a duck. I think it's a planter. I don't know. But it's got a big hole. I think it's a planter. That's what but it looks like. It's a pretty duck. Nice little mallard. It is uh, ceramic, I think. That's what it sounds like. We're going to do a starting bit of five on this. And it's spring, so you can have a spring duck. I don't know where my tape measure is, so I can't measure it. I got one. You want to borrow it? Oh, yeah. Let's put it on the screen and see how big it is. Okay. <laughs> that works a lot. Two inches. <laughs> two inches. I guess you can just put it up your head. That's what Colleen does. Yeah, right? No, Colleen be like... Oh, no, nope, it smells like a duck. Feel it. Feel it. <laughs> you know? Yeah, I got a jar of marbles sitting right there from Colleen. <laughs> and then we got um, a pig from Tracy Cakes. And then uh, <laughs> <clears throat> uh, a little car from Tamara right there. <clears throat> I just have some weird stuff up for sale today. I'm just trying to get stuff cleaned out of my house and trying to go through everything. So, And I don't like to bring stuff up twice. Once I, once I show it and nobody buys it, I don't bring it up again. I get it listed. <clears throat> All right. I think that's a pass on that one. Yeah, I think so. So number four. You know, you can put your stash in that duck. Right. We got this cute little stars and stripes lamp. It is very lightweight. It has a metal shade. Got stars and stripes on the uh, shade. The light bulb is not included. 
but it's cute little lamp we're gonna do uh let's do a let's do a five dollar start on that why not that's cheap inexpensive Ooh, Lord, do you know how expensive lamps are yes i do Whew. but it, and it's got the metal lid for five dollar starting bid good old and, and it works that's even better ronnie is in at five that's a great deal we're looking for six you can't buy a bulb for five dollars I, I know One, two, three, four, one more item. Okay. Looking for six dollars. And it's not very heavy at all. So I will take the shade off and the uh, bracket off to pack it. That way it's not as tall. So it'd be a lot cheaper to, or you don't want it too long, or else they get you on the length. It's All just, right, we're looking for six. That is adorable. Yes, it is. <laughs> and Ronnie thinks so too. We can start counting that down if nobody else. Are you already done? Okay, I didn't see that in the chat. <laughs> Good deal, Ronnie. Good That's a great deal. deal. And sold. Okay, I'm going to put it over there. I'm going to turn this on because it's starting to get dark outside. I can actually see what I'm showing now. Hey, look, it's in the background. Okay. Um, let me see. Oh, this last one is awesome. I only like this just because it's got a really cool handle on it. It does not glow, but it is green. It is a coffee mug with a green handle. And it looks like it glows, but it doesn't. I just thought it was really cool. I'm going to do a starting bit of $3 on this. I just love that green uh, blown glass handle. It doesn't get any cooler than that. And you can even see it's handmade because it's even kind of cricket on there. <laughs> but it's just a really cool mug. For $3 starting bid. Yeah, right? You did. You basically stole it. Yeah. I start stuff out at about, you know, 5 to 10% of what it goes for on eBay at the lowest price. So. <clears throat> well, you know you're getting a good deal. You know you're getting a great deal. Why are you staring at me, dog? Never seen anything like you before. I know, right? Poor thing. He's going to need therapy. <laughs> he could be a therapy dog. Right, yeah. She needs therapy. Oh. <laughs> Anybody in for the mug with the green handle? If not, this I'm putting some coffee in it, and this is going on my shelf. I've been trying to sell it so I don't put it on my shelf with the other 600 mugs we have. <laughs> All right, we'll call that a pass, and we'll bring Danny up. Danny. So I don't how to work my? Oh, there we go. Ooh. Danny. Oh, there it is. Okay. Yeah, I just found a hand. What? <laughs> found a hand. I had a porcelain figurine explode on me earlier, and I found his hand. Oh, wow. oh. I'm like, what? The dog was what? eating it. Like a prosthetic, you know? Yeah. You just know, people find weird things. Find hand. <clears throat> right. This is going to be a $4 start. It is a brand new in the package Raya toy. So this is going to be... The petite human sisu. That's cute. That is cute. It includes one doll, one jacket, one pair <laughs> of shoes, and a dragon gym. <laughs> yeah, that's a good movie. What did I miss? I've never seen the movie. Well, you need to watch the movie. I even gave Danny access to my account so she could watch the movie. Oh, what account was that? Uh, my Voodoo account. Your Voodoo account? Yeah, but now I can't do it because it can only be inside your house on your IP address. Nobody else can use it. Don't I'm like, yeah. When they do that. I do. I'm glad I watched it when I did. Oh, you did watch it? Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah, I watched it. <laughs> you ought to see all the movies we have now. We're up to like 630 movies. Wow. Just on Voodoo. 
We have Netflix, Hulu, Amazon Prime. Yo, you bought Wonka. Cool. What it's Wonka? decent. Wonka's the new musical about how he got his start. It's decent. Oh. I watched it on uh, Max. This is probably going to be my last round because I got to get our bag packed and stuff for the hospital. Okay, no worries. Yay. Lisa's got another thousand items to sell. That's fine. Oh, uh, not quite, but close. <laughs> well, you probably do in there somewhere, Lisa. <laughs> oh, probably. Uh, I haven't even pulled anything out but jewelry tonight, so. Right? Meat wagon going by. Uh oh. I hear the sirens. I love how it tells me I missed a payment when they just received my payment. Yeah, flipping idiots. Don't you love that? Like, um, check your records, please. Thanks. I made a payment two weeks ago, and it was due uh, yesterday. And, oh, we see you missed a payment. No, I didn't. <laughs> just hit 1600 again. Good job, Anna. 1600 what? Subs. Oh my! Oh snap, girl! I'm way behind. Yeah, good for you. Um, yeah, I, I even think I have six hundred. I just hit five hundred not that long ago. Yeah, I'm at fourteen sixty six, but my watch hours are dead. Well, so, how'd you get 400, 1,466? One thousand four hundred sixty six. I just uh, a lot of my yep. shorts. I put shorts up, and people just I, I I'll get you know two hundred subs from a short. Oh, wow. Okay. 7,900 views, 200 subs. It's crazy how that happens sometimes. Plus, people like reptiles and cars. That's true. Sometimes together. All right. I think we got a pass on that. Sean's got 15. Woo! Oh, yeah. You have 15 <laughs> subs? I think one of them's me. <laughs> and I've got, I think one of them's me on two of my accounts. <laughs> All right, so this one is going to be a $2 start. It is a kid's novel. Mm, ages 8 to 12, it says. Doesn't mean that anybody can't read it. Right. It does have some wear <laughs> on the corner here. I don't know when this is from. Shadow Children? Ooh. Oh, this is from 1998. Or... This is a year 2000 edition. Nice. Among the hidden. Sean's in for two. It says Luke has never been to school. He's never had a birthday party or gone to a friend's house for an overnight. In fact, Luke has never had a friend. <coughs> He's Luke. The shadow children and a third child forbidden by the population police. Huh. Oh. We got Sean in for two looking for three. I'm actually writing a sci-fi novel, and it mentions the shadow people, Ooh. which are like people see in their dreams or in that area where they're in between awake and asleep. Uh huh. Yeah, it's like a supernatural kind of thing, but I'm doing a more of a sci-fi time traveler kind of thing. Oh, I lied. This is from 2003. Oh, okay. No, you weren't. Okay. You didn't lie. You were just misinformed. Well, the te it says text copyright. <laughs> 1998, but then it says first allowed in paperback March 2000, but then on the back it says <laughs> cover illustration copyright 2003. So I'm just oh. going to go with that. Okay. Look at right. $3. This guy's little kid is three doll hairs. Going one time to Sir Smokes a lot. Poor kid is right. Going a second time to Sir Smokes a lot. Looking for three dollars. Last call for alcohol. Oh, wrong place. Sorry. <laughs> and we are sold. Sold. That's good. Sold. Sold. Sean, I want to read that when you're done with it. <laughs> we'll rent it to you for two dollars. Yeah, I know, right? Okay, <laughs> <laughs> I'll have it read in an hour. I read really fast. All right. Oh, it's a series of seven books. Zane has it. Oh, very cool. good. 
Oh, that must be what these are. <clears throat> yep. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, it didn't say number one, number two. I didn't even, it didn't dawn on me. All right. Next I, I'm writing thing. a series that you can't even tell is a series. They're all independent, but you, they do mention each other. This one I is like a $2 it. star also. It does have some wear on the corners. The melt it's a yes, kid's Yes, Janice, book. thank you. But this is Diary of a Whippy Kid, The Meltdown, and a $2 star on this one as well. Nice. <clears throat> This is from 2018. Anybody in for the wimpy kid belt down? Mm -hmm. I had a meltdown the other day. My employee wouldn't listen, so I melt. I had a meltdown, tell him to get back to work, and then I realized I'm self-employed and I'm the only employee. Mm -hmm. I was going to say, were you looking in the mirror? I was. Yeah. <laughs> Something scares me. Your boss scares you? Yep. That happens. It does. I think I bought my first Diary of a Wimpy Kid in third. Wow. Oh, wow. It has been a day, and not it? I don't think I've ever bought a Diary of the Whippy Kid book. I've got the movies, but I'm... Oh, I bought the whole series and the movies for my kids. There you go. I didn't even know that they had movies. I bought the movies at a yard sale. <clears throat> nice. I have like six copies of each money uh, movie because I buy a lot of bulk buys of movies. Uh -huh. <laughs> and I've got like six copies of each. The kids didn't like the movies. See, I, uh, the one I didn't like is when they did the last one. It, they had a completely different kid. Roderick was completely different. The parents were completely different. And then they tried to pass it on like it was the next movie. No. It was terrible. Just See, horrible. I, I, if I read a book first, I usually don't like the movie. Yeah, Me Harry either. Potter. Oh. I, re I watched the movies, then read the books, and then I hated the movies. <laughs> Ordered the books. I That's how it. I was with the... Um... Yeah, Melinda, I know. Oh, crap. This... Wow. All right, so the, this one is going to be a $5 starting bid. This is question and answer encyclopedia, the USA, over 1,000 questions and answers to things you want to know. And what did you say the starting bid is on that? $5. $5. And it is from 2002. So it says nice. the 50 states, Native Americans, Pilgrims, how the West was won, the Civil War. We got Sir Smokes a lot at five. And this is a big book. But it's hardback. It has its dust cover. It's in really great condition. I'm probably crazy for selling it for this. But, you know, I'm like Lisa. I always start it for a little bit more than what I paid for it and just let it go. All right, we're looking for six. We got Sir Smokes a lot in it. Five, looking for six. Going one time to Sir Smokes a lot. Yeah, I noticed that a lot um, looking at stuff at the book fair, and the books were wild. Going a second time, the sir smokes a lot. Yeah, my books are expensive, but what it costs to produce them? Oh, man. <clears throat> I used to All to read while you were on the John. <laughs> there we go. Last call. I never thought to keep some in the bathroom. Yeah. <laughs> and we are sold. I used to keep one, like, one in a book in the basket on, like, in the toilet. 
not in the toilet, but on the toilet. <laughs> and I would be reading another book in the rest of the house and I'd get confused. My bathroom's too small to put in the anything in the bathroom other than me. Uncle John's bathroom readers. Yep. I used to go to his when I was at his house, I'd be in there all the time. <laughs> so this hey, I used is... to keep the readers digest in the bathroom at my grandparents' house. I used to sit in there and read. My brother-in-law used to have Harley Davidson magazines. <laughs> All right. This one is going to be a $5 starting bid. It is a complete air fryer cookbook. I have got to learn how to, for some reason, I keep hitting the D instead of the K. Bood. Okay. Air Bood. fryer bood, starting bid. Air fryer bood. That's, those keys are just too close together. I know, right? Yeah. Opposite ends of the keyboard, but who cares? <laughs> Five dollars for Sean. <laughs> Good for six. I don't know when this was printed. It doesn't have a year. My air fryer sucks. I'm, I don't like it. I'm assuming it's I, not. my oven has an air fryer in it. Nice. Oh, does it? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Janice, if you're looking for DVDs, I'm gonna run downstairs right quick while Lisa's doing. Uh, and I, I've got DVDs for you. Don't worry. <clears throat> oh, this is from 2016. 2016. Yeah, my air fryer, I don't like it at all. I don't, I don't have one. I don't know. I love cooking, like, on the stove. So, my, uh, my pressure cooker is my best friend. Really? Oh, yeah. $180 on a Instapot, and we have yet to use it. And oh, I love my Instapot. The one that I have, my mom bought it and used it like three times. And then it's, and then when she passed, my dad was like, I don't know what to do with this thing. Take it. <laughs> I was like, okay. <laughs> Going a second time, this sir smokes a lot. Last call. Oh, it tells you learning learn about timing temps, oil options, and how to choose the best machine. Nice, it's old. Yeah, mine. Uh, mine. We bought Black Friday special, and it it doesn't warm up, and then when it does, just the fries come out soggy, and it takes four times what it says on the bag to cook it. So if it's twenty minutes, it takes almost an hour to cook it. I lost my pen. All right, was that your fifth one? Yep, that was. So I'm gonna go for the night because I gotta. We gotta be at the hospital at six a.m. Okay. Wow. Well, thank we'll you for coming on. It's good to see you. Well, thank you for inviting me. Hey, and next time we might do it again. So. All right. Just let me know. All I'm right. trying to. Now that life has hopefully calmed down, let me knock on wood. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Pop me and you up, and Janice says, I don't like horror. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Janice. <laughs> I have so many DVDs, but all right, we'll see you later, Danny. Thank you so right, much. Sorry, guys. Thank you. Yes, keep him in your prayers. It should be a, a no cutting procedure, but prayers awesome. are always needed. Right. We got yeah. Casey in the house. Hello, keep Casey. Hi, Casey. Bye, guys. Bye, thank Danny. you. All right, we'll bring Lisa up. Lisa, I will be right back. Okay, I'll have a tapestry. It's huge. Well, I mean, if you don't put it on your wall, it is. It's a dragon. Hopefully, I have it right. It is, I just measured it, 60 inches by 39. Let me stand up so maybe you can see it. We'll start it at $15. It's gorgeous. So I can't type that in. So 60 inches by 39 inches. And let's see, pull it up a bit so you can see it all. Here's the tail. So we're going to start it at 15. These are really cool. I've had people buy these to make blankets out of. Hang on the wall, use as curtains, just whatever. Thanks. Thanks, Sean. So it's really cool. Let's 
and it's bigger than my arm reaches but yeah i've had a couple people like buy these to make to quilt them and there's the bottom Well, back up to the face. Okay. All right. Any interest? Yeah, it's 60 wide by 39 long. So it's wide. Cover up a whole wall. If you got an ugly wall, you can cover up your wall. It's really cool looking. My daughter has these kind of things all over her wall. She doesn't like to have bare walls. So, all right. Let me fold it back up. Very nice material. It's like cotton. It's not gonna pick or run. Let me. There's the material. It is hemmed. So you'd have a nice clean finish if you hung it. Yep. Okay. We'll pass it. All right. Let me switch the camera so you don't have to see my face no more. All right. But you have such a lovely face. <laughs> this is the year of the dragon. That's right. All right. This is an amethyst druzy. And it has the coolest chain. It is all hearts. Oh, that's pretty. Isn't that pretty? All hearts. You've got your lobster claw right here. It's a bracelet? No, it's a necklace. There's the back. There's the front. And let me see what I did. It is um, between 17 and 19 inches because it does have an extender. So it's 17. And then with this extender, it makes it 19. What's up, OG? Hey, OG! And um, let's start it at eight dollars. It's seventeen and a half carats in that bruzy. Nice. I love that rough amethyst. It's very gorgeous. I love the chain. And you, it's not. I mean, since it's a lobster claw, you can always add an extender to it if you wanted. Besides the one that's on it, because it is short. It is seventeen inches, but yeah. it does have a two-inch extender. We got uh, Sir Spokes a lot in for eight, looking for nine. Oh, cool. He likes that jersey, does he? That's a gorgeous I, jersey. I love amethyst just because it's people. It's people. I had a amethyst geode that I sold at a yard sale. I'm not going to tell you what I sold it for, but it was about three and a half foot high. Oh, oh my, my lord. My brother saw that I sold it at a yard sale, and I told him what I got for it. And he's like, are you serious? Oh, no. You were in trouble. Oh, no, not at all. Oh, it, went, uh, it sold for more than what I'm asking for my Corvette. Oh, <laughs> okay. Yeah. There you go. I had, I had two of them. Wow. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah, I, I met, yeah, that was a crazy experience. I don't need anything that big because she doesn't have room in her. I mean, her room is only a 10 foot square. That's why I sold <laughs> Yeah. Because my house is only 850. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's call it down. Yes, ma'am. Going one time to Sir Smokes a lot for eight, looking for nine. I'm not big on waiting a long time. <laughs> okay. I don't have patience for that. <laughs> I I never earned my doctorate degree, so. Well, I never finished my master, so. I got a divorce instead. <laughs> Yeah, we are sold the Sir Smokes a lot for eight dollars. Thank you, Sean. He likes that. All right, now you need a place to put your jewelry, okay? So I have a choice of two. You got a black one, and you've got this teal one. The teal one is, <laughs> it has a mirror in the top, and you can look in there and say, "Mirror, mirror, in my face." Who's the ugliest person in this place? And then you've got your ring slots in this, you know, it's not huge, but it's cute. It and then the black one is bigger because you've got all these little slots. And then up here, you've got 
the earring slots. Nice. This little tab, and then you've got an extra slot. So we're going to start this at $8 for choice. Great deal. So you've got the black or the teal. The teal's a little fancier, but the black's a little bigger. Nice. You have the same camera I had before it crapped out. <laughs> oh. That's what my brother said. This is my new camera. <laughs> so, you got black or teal. We got Sean in for eight, looking for nine. I've been car shopping. I freaked my kids out when I sent them a picture of a car I fell in love with. It's not practical, but boy, would it be fun. A 1997 Jag. Wow. Yeah, insurance would kill you. No, not really. No. Really? The 97 Jags were not that expensive to insure because they were owned by Ford. Oh. If you get inside of it, it says Ford Radio. Well, I'll be darned. I did not, <clears throat> did not know that. Yep. Hmm. <clears throat> I think it was, no, maybe, yeah, I think it was the 90s to early 2000s. It was owned by Ford. I was so glad when they sold it. They owned a uh, road ra uh, Range Rover also for a little bit. Oh, you're talking Ronnie into the car. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, they're not, Jags are not that expensive to insure. Everybody says they leak oil. I'm like, no, it does not leak oil. It's marking its territory. There you go. Yes. It was Jaguar, but everything on the inside was There Ford. you go. You don't do Fords. I don't blame you. All yeah, right, let's I, I, call this. I've had a Ford. We're looking for $9. We got Sir Smokes a lot in at eight. I have a uh, <laughs> Chevy. <laughs> I've got uh, a uh, my, my husband has a uh, Chevy Silverado, and then I have a um, Chevy Eclipse. I have a Chevy Corvette and a GMC Terrain. Going one time, looking for $9? No, I wouldn't buy a Ford either. My first car was a Ford. I absolutely loved it. I've had Ford, Lincoln, and Mercury. Going a second time to saw. Sean, looking for 9 I had a Cadillac, and I've had... A Toyota, that was my favorite. And we are sold to Sean. Which one or ones would you like, Sean? Black or teal? Teal. Yeah. <clears throat> you gotta have some. Oh, yeah, absolutely. You can see the black inside. There it's got the ring holders. These move. You can move these out to make them bigger or, or smaller. Then you've got the mirror with the earring post. <laughs> and then You've got your little necklace hooks and then the little pouch to put the pendants in. So, nice. See, I have a I have a Corvette that sits in the drive. And then it has and a, a GMC. <laughs> a snap. This one has. I have no nails. That kind of a hook. <laughs> nice. And then it it doesn't have as much space, but it is a little nicer. See, during the summer, I'm usually on either my motorcycle or my wife's, so I've got a Honda and a Can-Am. <laughs> and the Corvette usually just sits in the driveway. You want the teal one? Okay, you got it. Anyone want the black one for eight? I wouldn't own a frigid on real deal either, Ronnie. <laughs> Found on road dead. <laughs> Fix or repair Man. daily. All right, I think that's a pass. If anyone that's wants it, just, you can always send me an email. Actually, that I think I um, paid more than that for those. So, and if you're driving in front of one of them, it's a drop. A drop? It's a drop. Okay. F O R D D F. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right, these are really cool. These are handmade earrings. <laughs> Ooh, those are pretty. Yeah, these are kind of native inspired, I think. I'm just going to put awesome earrings. All right, I got two different coins, and we're going to start these at five for choice. They are, oh, I got this up. Okay. So we've got these peach circles. They are huge. Those are gorgeous. They are. These are these are both handmade. I put them on this cardboard so you can see them better. Nice. And they, they are long. They're shoulder dusters. <clears throat> but they're gorgeous. I love these. I would wear those, I think. Starting Beauty 5 for choice. And they are, like I said, they are handmade. And they are on gold tone lobster claws. And they have the little plastic back so that you don't lose them. 
Come on, Tim. We got Sean in for five, looking for six. Okay. I grabbed the wrong box, but that's okay. My ex hubby who drove a Ford said it stood for only retarded drivers. <laughs> Found on road dead is the closest thing around here. <laughs> I'm not going to respond to that one. Ah. Yeah. All right, let's call this down. All right, going one time. The sewer smokes a lot. Going a second time. <laughs> <laughs> Last call. Now's your time to snipe. Because I forgot to put an S. So I said it was, I almost said it was old. Okay, we are sold. Which one or ones would you like, Sean? Peach or multicolor? F over repair. repair yeah. dot. <laughs> Colorful. Colorful. All right, you've got them. Anyone want the peach for five? Anybody in for the peach? Five little dollars. Those are really cool, too. Those are gorgeous. I like the peach ones. <clears throat> Don't think anyone wants them. I drive my John Deere tractor. You're right. <laughs> okay, here's my fifth. Mm. All right. Well, if I can get it open. This is a man's ring. It is stainless steel. It is midnight sapphire size 10. And it is pure stainless steel. And we're going to start it at... Um, oh, shoot. What did I pay for it? Um, oof. We're going to start it at 16. Wow. For a midnight sapphire? Mm-hmm. What size is it again? Ten. Damn, way too small. Oh, shit. Yeah. That's gorgeous. Well, if I don't sell it, I know where it, it, it can go because my daughter loves Midnight Sapphire. Oh. She'd wear a man's ring, no problem. See? It, it really is a unisex <clears throat> ring. But anyone could wear that. There you go. Size 10. Sean could probably get that one off his pinky. <laughs> The midnight sapphires are really and look how shiny that stainless is hey i started driving when i was like four years old driving a tractor yeah i learned how to drive when i was seven driving a tractor and a car and then when i was age 13 i drove my first stick shift car which was actually a lamborghini countach 1989. i learned on a stick shift see i learned on an automatic picking them up I no, know. I learned on a stick shift. Well, I was driving the tractor when I was like four, and then I didn't get to drive a car till I was like 12. <laughs> and I was driving the truck in the hayfield, and it was a stick shift. Ooh. Oh, that's awesome, Melinda. All right. I think this one is a pass. Okie dokie. That is five. Oh, so it's my turn then. Yeah. I guess I better find stuff to sell. All right. I um, be better. I got these Pike Lake Duluth, Minnesota. They're vintage. You can see that some of the gold is coming off. One of the stoppers out of the pepper shaker is in there, but it fell out. Uh, salt and pepper shakers. We'll do a starting bit of a dollar. Just because it doesn't have the thing in the bottom. It's in there, but I can't get it out, and I ain't going to mess with that. Yeah. I've got too big a hands. <clears throat> but they are, they got the gold leaf on them, but some of it's worn on the top. Tweezers, she says. Yeah, I can't, my hands are too big. I can't get in that tiny little hole. Tweezers. My, yeah, no, that ain't going to happen. <laughs> nope, not going to happen. He done even, already if, that. even if I use my jeweler's tweezers, or as I like to call them, booger pickers, because they're oh. like really long, and they're, yeah, they're jeweler's tweezers, so you can hold gems and you put the little. <laughs> Yep, me too, Melinda. Grew up on a farm. Yep. 
I grew up, I lived in, in the city, but I grew up on a farm working with uh, some people from the church. We used to ride a three wheeler around. Those were fun until it flipped and almost killed me. But <laughs> oh, oh, I guess that was still fun. Exactly. Whoever buys it can deal with it. That's what I say. <laughs> yeah, I have a, uh, I learned how to ride a motorcycle when I was seven, also. Little, no, I didn't uh, ride a motorcycle until I was in my 20s. Little 50, uh, 75 cc uh, dirt bike. I used to go uh, motocross and all the time. Broke my nose twice. <clears throat> okay. I think that's a pass on those. All right, I've got both of these. They are, what is that, brass? Uh, yeah, one's made in India. The one, the other one is made in Taiwan. That's got a $9 price tag. I'm going to do starting bid, both of them, 3 bucks for both, for brass candle holders. Ketchup shines them up really good. What's that? Ketchup. Oh, yeah, ketchup really shines them up. And it doesn't even have to be Heinz. Well, see, I don't like to waste ketchup like that. <laughs> My daughter would agree with you. <laughs> he loves her ketchup. I'll be, I'll be sitting here cleaning it and then take my chicken tender and. <laughs> yeah, I don't think so. Oh, why not? Motorcycles are awesome. <clears throat> I First that. motorcycle I ever rode on the back of was a big old Harley. <laughs> Man, that thing roared. Wow. My uh, my Honda's louder than most Harleys. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I remember when that happened, Sean. That was a fun day. Because that's also the day we would grab the electric fence, and you and I grabbed the fence, and then we grabbed Nancy. <laughs> oh, no. She was like, oh, you yeah, son of a mother. So was, nice. That's the first time I ever heard my sister cuss. She dropped the F-bomb. <laughs> Is uh, OG still in here? I don't know. <laughs> well, I got something that I think she might like, but I don't really want to bring it. <clears throat> Unless she's, in yep, she's okay. here. I'll show it to you because I'll let you bring it up now. Go ahead and bring that up. No, that's okay. No, I gotta, I gotta go through some stuff and find. All right, so, all right, OG. There. I don't know if you've got this or not. This is a brooch, <laughs> and I think it matches the set you got. Yes, but Robbie, I have. It's magnetic, <clears throat> and it's got the earrings. So, OG, if you want this, I'll sell it to you for ten dollars. And it's got the magic, magic, ma matching earrings, and the the poppy brooch. And it comes in the same kind of box as the last ones. I love the magnetic brooches. I haven't seen too many of them. But, and don't feel obligated. If you want it, just say yes. If you don't, say no, and I'll let everyone else. Sold. Okay. Yes, it is, Ronnie. Okay. All right. I didn't want to bring that up without you seeing it first. Because, <laughs> you know, that's how we are. Is it true what they say about what? Peeing on electric fence. Oh, yeah. Electric fences have got me a lot. Oh, well, if you pee on one, it really sucks. I don't, I've never peed on one because, you know, a girl peeing on one would be kind of difficult. Oh, yeah. All right. This is lava stone. Ooh. Oh, look what I just found. Holy crap. What'd you find? A pig. A okay. pin. It says freshened white and blue halite. With the, the lava stones, you've got the blue lava stone, you got that one, you got the mauve colored, you've got the green, and then up here you've got white and more blue, and then you've got the white halite and the blue halite in here. It is 28 inches, so it does not have a clasp, it just goes over your head. Um, the lava stone is the kind that you can put scents on, right? I don't know. I don't either, but it's lava stone. It's really cool looking. Got you a big fish there. I'd hang it from my rearview mirror personally. But we're gonna um, let's do nine dollars. Ooh, that's a great. 
Okay, I got to take that in, don't I? Lava stone, nine dollars. Nine dollars. You got halite. You got blue halite and white halite. Oh, now I find a happy St. Patrick's Day pin. Really? Uh, I found the earrings after St. Patrick's Day was over. I just opened up a bag that I haven't that I haven't gone through yet, and I found a, a little pig uh, lapel pin. Oh! So I'm gonna give it to Randall. There you go. So, but yeah, that's exactly what I paid for it. So I'm not making anything on that one. Oh wow! Really? Yeah, but that's okay. I think it's cool looking. It is very cool looking. But don't sell my belt. My daughter's Easter basket. There you go. She I got to figure it. out what I'm getting Randall in for Easter this year. Mm. Every year for the past. Uh, Not just you? No, she she doesn't like just that. Um, mm. I get her an Easter basket. Last year I got her a really expensive gecko. So this year I've got to outdo myself. See how it all. <clears throat> all right. I think that's a pass. That's a pass. Okay. Nancy pass. Ah, that's a finger. That's Sorry. That's a finger. I just poked myself. All right. <laughs> Abalone. Ooh. Sterling silver bale. Sterling silver 95 bale and abalone. And let's see. Let's start this at ten dollars. Wow, that's a great price for that. Because I don't I've had this one a while. I don't don't remember what I paid for it. So we're gonna there's the back. <laughs> that's a cute button. Things are getting worse. Please send chocolate. Please send chocolate. So, and you can see it's marked there on the back. But it is 925. It is sterling. It has been tested. That's gorgeous. Yeah. It is very cool. I've always loved abalone. I like bologna, too. Abalone and bologna. Yeah, abalone and bologna. I don't know anybody who likes abalone at all. Do yeah, I? Okay. Right. Yeah, I'm okay. Thank you for asking. <laughs> I just put my hand in the bag and poke the, the the pins don't have backings on them, so I just poke my seal. Yeah, that's a pretty good piece size piece one. That is a very big piece of abalone. <clears throat> Where's Leslie when you need her? There's Sir Smokes a lot there. Let's see. Oh, Sean's in for ten. It's an inch. Looking for eleven. I was able to get abalone there for a long time, but I don't think they are allowed to harvest it anymore. I don't know. I have I haven't been able to find any for a long time either. Yeah, I was able, about a year and a half ago. I was able to get it, but I haven't been able to get it for a while. So, all right, might as well call right, it. Let's start calling it down. Go Not as well. Sir, uh, or Sir Spokes a lot. <laughs> excuse me. <laughs> excuse me. <laughs> okay, I'm okay. We're going a second time. You sure you're okay? Yeah, I'm all right. Okay. I was just doing a turkey impression there. A turkey impression, okay. If you say so. I went. <laughs> I heard you. <ya. laughs> <laughs> And we are sold to Sean. All right. Let's see. This is, ooh, this is cool. This is a bracelet. It is very cool. It says something on the tag. It says. You want that button? <laughs> oh, it says handmade. <laughs> ha ha, Anna. Handmade. Handmade. And it is very cool looking. It says it's crystal. So we've got blue and green crystal. And look, it's got flowers in it. That nice. The, the blue ones are every other one, or like every every other flower is blue, and every other flower is green. Oh, cool. And then it might be A D, I'm not sure. But it says it's got a handmade tag on it, and then nice. it's got a heart. So oh. let's let's see. What's your starting bid? 
Um, I'm trying to see what that heart says. I think it says... It says Lisa can't see. She's blind. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we, can't, we can't see the bracelet. It's in silver tone. It is... Um, no. Here we go. It is seven and a half inches, and it will go up to nine and a half. So if you've got to want to wear it as an anklet, you can as well. Um, it says it's Austrian crystal, blue and neon green. Let's start it at $10. Nice. I'm stuck on $10 tonight. <clears throat> as long as you're not stuck on Band-Aid brand. No, because Band-Aid's stuck on me. That's right. <clears throat> yeah. So, but it is really pretty. That would be a nice Easter present. Very uh, look, Randa says pretty. Yeah, she does. I just texted her a picture of the pig I found. <laughs> um, that's maybe what she's saying is pretty. The pig. There's the back no. of it. She she messaged back on that one. <clears throat> that is gorgeous. See, that's the problem is I bought Randall in so much jewelry, she doesn't wear it. She doesn't uh -huh. even wear a wedding ring anymore because it's so big. Uh -huh. I bought her a huge diamond. It's like 1.17 carats, so she wears um, uh, the one of those silicone bands because oh. it's, it's hers for work. It's just too damn big. Uh oh. So oh, okay. Is beginning to hurt. I'm That's sorry. okay. My back is beginning to hurt. <laughs> well, all of me has been hurting all day. So. So I'll come up and I'll do some DVDs and some pins. All right. That's. Let's call that one a pass. All right. You want to do one more? Oh. If not, that's fine. Right here, I have this. This is a piece of gorgeousness. I Ooh. tried oh, to. Oh, yeah, you showed that to me earlier. I did. I showed this to you. I tried to um, comp it and came up with nothing except for stuff that looked very similar to it. Um, and it goes for quite a bit. So I'm going to start it at 10. Wow. It, it is enameled pieces. And then the, I believe, I don't know if these are ceramic. The kind, they don't feel like resin to me. So I think they might be ceramic. Wow. That's gorgeous. And then. Ah, now that we've got it in view, even better. <laughs> comes up to a lobster claw. So you could put an extender on it if you wanted to. But it is a very, very nice piece. Wedding season. Look great one with an Easter dress. You've got some rhinestones in here. Like you got a rhinestone you come Easter down to a rhinestone. So look really, really nice. <coughs> Anything. But yeah, I think those are ceramic and enamel. That's gorgeous. <coughs> For ten bucks, I can't believe nobody's jumping on that. That isn't I I because I comped that earlier from your picture that you showed me. And uh -huh. I know what go for and I'm oh, like, oh yeah, they go for a lot. And this came <clears throat> from one of those boxes that I bought, so it doesn't really and I didn't exactly pay a set price for just one thing. I know that feeling. <laughs> but look how I mean they're beautiful. All that enamel. And then this, I think, the, I really think these are ceramic. They feel ceramic to me. So it might be vintage. I don't know. But oh, the no. back, look how well made they are. That is gorgeous. I'm thinking mm -hmm. that's vintage for sure. It's very well made. So. Okie doke. I I'll guess that's a pass. That's no. okay. All My right. turn. Your turn. Yay. I'm going to start out. I got this little frog brooch. You can see that some of the green is coming. It's a joke. It's a turtle brooch. You can see that some of the stuff has come off. It is gold tone. It is vintage. You can tell by the, the clasp on there. Just a cute little turtle. Uh, we're going to do a $5 start on that. <clears throat> gold tone. Really cute. <clears throat> Look at his little cute face. He even has two eyes. I can get him in the damn pictures. There we go. Looks like one of the... I can't see it. 
Yeah, he's got two stones in there. There are stones for his eyes. Frog turtle brooch. <laughs> yeah, it's weird. He's got red eyes. <clears throat> Just a cute little frog. And Randallin, this is the pig I found. Oh, how cute. He's also got a red stone. Well, does, she, does she wear those or is she making like an art piece out of them? Uh, they sit on a shelf over there. <coughs> we have, you can see a lot of the pigs up here, a lot of them over here, a bunch over here. And then there's the shelves back there that you can usually see through the fish tank. There's hundreds of pigs. <coughs> and then there's more over here. <laughs> hmm. All right. I think that's a pass on that one. Think so. Um, all right. I have. Let me get my list out because I have them listed. 44 DVDs. Okay. Shipping is included on this. For $30 start. I know. I was a joke, Jacob. So it's a $30 start, and I will read you what DVDs are on here. I just have to get to uh, where I wrote them down. Because <clears throat> uh, they are all formal rentals. Um, and like I said, there are 44 of them. Shipping is included, and we're going to start bidding at 30 bucks. And actually, DVDs are easy to list. Yes, they are. I bought a lot. I like butter. That from you once. Yeah, you did. And I made my money back <clears throat> real quick. You can't get that many at one time? Sure you can. Why not? Um, we have... Some of the cases are ripped. They have the plastic on the cases ripped. All have rental stickers. Some discs may have light scratches. Titles are as follows. Tube, The Cutting Edge, Chasing the Dream, Little Manhattan, Quantum of Solace, Judges, The Centennial, Pistol Whipped, Mario Wars, oh, I'm sorry, Mirror Wars, Personal Effects, The Island, Pitcher and the Pinups, Chasing Liberty, Elizabethtown. That's a great movie. It is. Uh, Madison, Never Back Down, Rock and Rolla, Blood Diamond, Last Run, Swing Vote, Swim Fan, The Hurt Locker, Penelope, Eagle Eye, In Good Company, Marley and Me, 12 Rounds, Hard Luck, The Pistol, The Birth of a Legend, Casino Royale, 007, Breach, The Substitute, and The Substitute 3, 21, No Reservations, M I three, The Guardian, Catch and Release, Nims Island, Rescue Dawn, Charlie Wilson's War, good movie, Perfect Stranger, Spider Man three, A History of Violence, The Art of War two, and Submerged. You get all of them for thirty dollars. That's including shipping. So it's just thirty dollars flat. You wouldn't have to pay any additional shipping. Nope. That's a great deal. 44 DVDs. And they're all, like I said, they're all former rentals. I'm just lazy and didn't feel like listing them individually. But I've got the whole box, but I will have to put stickers because I can't send it like that. <laughs> yeah. Because you're not allowed to send alcohol products. But they're all in good condition. I mean, other than a few of the cases are ripped. And they have the little stickers on the back. And some of them are Blockbusters cases. We got Ronnie in for 30. Looking for 31. Anything about 30? I have never heard of nine rail. Some of those I have, some of them I hadn't. Yeah, I've heard of some of them. MI, I mean, you've heard of Mission Impossible. Well, um, um, Nims Island, that's a good one. Nims Island. Um, Penelope is a good kids' movie. Um, that is a good one. Yep. There's quite a few in there, so. Hey, even if you watch 10 of them, you'd get your money back. Exactly. You could give them as gifts. Ronnie's in. All right. Looks like we're going to count down. That's fine. So, Ronnie, that will ship completely separate from the rest of the stuff because this goes media mail. So, Marley, Marley is that's an awesome movie. Good deal, Ronnie. Thank you, Ronnie. All right, now these are going to be a buck a piece. So I don't have too many. 
This is Pierce Arrow Theater from, yeah, we got. He yeah. ain't right. You want to just claim by title? Yeah, just claim. Uh, yeah, just claim by title. Just put uh, right for that one. Want me to type that in? You don't have to if you don't want to. Uh, These are a dollar, dollar. Buy it now, one dollar each. Triple X. <coughs> this one's oh, got a small tear on the case there. It's got a, you know, for a buck, you get a Steven Diesel, man. Exactly. I met him in person. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I met him at a tattoo shop. He goes, tattoo this body? <laughs> I don't think so. Yeah. He's, they say he's a nice guy. We have Julia Roberts, uh, Clive Owen, and Duplicity. That one does have a sticker on the back. It's former rental as well. That's a good one, too. You can just put by the title. Um, spelling cool. doesn't count. What happened? I said spelling doesn't count. Yeah, spelling doesn't count. We don't care about spelling. Found it out. We'll this figure one, it out. The case is a little dirty, but it's failure to launch. Oh, my gosh. My husband and I were just talking about that movie. <laughs> oh, we got money for duplicity. Janice M takes X. Janice, okay. Hang on, let me write that down. J A N I C E one uh, X X X. Okay, I'm gonna start making separate piles. That way, it's a lot easier for me to keep track. Um, yeah, failure to launch. That's an awesome movie. Uh, this one you can see on the bottom. The case is messed up, but the movie is awesome. It's called Cutaway. Really good movie. And you can see it's a former rental, but it's even got the book in there, which you never find. That's a really good movie called Cutaway. Um, <laughs> here we have Jean-Claude Van Damme, who I also met. His uh, sister lived down the street from me in Florida called Hardcore. The Hardcore does have a sticker on the back that I couldn't get off. Talk about a flashback. Right? <clears throat> All right. Then I have a double feature. Uh, ten point five and day uh, category six days of destruction. I guess those are earthquake movies. I've never seen or heard of any of them. You can I see there's this is the case is a little dirty. I didn't have a chance to clean them, so there's like something got spilled on there, but it's nothing bad. The movies are in good condition. That's what matters. <clears throat> the case okay. can be cleaned. Yeah, they're like B rated movies. Yeah, so you can put double for that one. Um. This one was in somebody's collection because they got the number 41. It's called Judgment. Mr. T. For those left behind, I think it's part of the Left Behind series. If I, no, because it's got Mr. T in it. So it's not the Left Behind series. And this one, I don't know if anybody likes. This one also has that sticker, but it's Kill Bill 2. Oh, those one. are awesome. I've never seen them. You should watch it. I might one day. Those are awesome. Action adventure. Ronnie takes judgment. Ronnie takes judgment. Okay, let me find judgment. Uh, I'll probably just put those in your box, Ronnie, for the with the DVDs. That way, you only pay one fee for shipping. And I'm so yeah. Uh, Bobby Jones. That's actually a good movie. Uh, Stroke of Genius. It's former rental. Um, that's got what's his face in it. Um, Jesus, Jim Caviezel. Oh, yeah. And He's then we've guy. got sneakers. This is one Ramblin' once, but we uh, uh, took a picture of the barcode, and you can scan it for two bucks. <laughs> yeah. So we got sneakers. That's an oldie. That is a good one, though. Okay. Move all the VHS out of the way, or not VHS, all the CDs out of the way. I'm gonna grab this stack right here. I got a lot of movies, I got a whole tote. We got Veggie Tales, Lord of the Beans. Veggie Tales, <clears throat> my kids used to watch them all the time. You know, the main problem with Veggie Tales is what? the two main characters are both fruit <laughs> a tomato and a cucumber. Tomato. Yeah, if you like to talk to tomatoes. <laughs> I love that. That's so one song I did love. 
Mm-hmm. My yeah. friend used to watch that. It was a former rental, Spartan. That's a good movie, too. That's a very good movie. I really like that one. My problem is, is I love movies so much, I sit here and watch them all, and then I try while I'm listing them. <laughs> there you That's go. a good one, too. Four Brothers. That's a great movie. I watched that in a hotel when I was visiting my daughter one time. I've never seen that. That's a good one. And then we have Murder at the Posido. I, I can't pronounce that. Posidio. Got Lou Diamond Phillips in there. So, well, four yeah, brothers. I, think... I don't even think that one has been opened. Nice. Okay. Ronnie. Four bros. And this isn't even all the movies I have. One brother's enough for me. I have one of those too. And then I have a stepbrother. I think I have two stepbrothers, but one of them still lives in Thailand. When a stranger calls, former rental as well. <clears throat> Looks like a spooky movie. It does look like a spooky movie. But she doesn't like horror, so. Yeah. <laughs> and then we've got Seven Seconds, also a rental. Oh, good That's movie. A good one. Yes. And then one of my favorite movies, Spaceballs. <laughs> <laughs> I love Mel Brooks movies. They are so good. <laughs> And Monty Python's the other movies I love. Oh my goodness! Those between those. Oh, movies. I can't stand Monty Python movies. They're too stupid. That's why it's that, it's that British humor. Oh and, my god! What is it? History of the World. Oh my oh god! My that god, movie. god. I no, laughed husband, so hard. My husband loves that movie, and I can't stand it. <laughs> he, after he watches it, he goes around quoting it for two weeks. <laughs> and then he takes baseballs. I like History of the World. That movie is awesome. Oh, we got Janice wants space ball. See, there we go. Janice, one dollar space balls. Mm-hmm. I'll put that in Janice's pile. All right, then I've got In Pursuit. I, this is what I've not watched. This is not a former rental. I was gonna say, oh, I yes, haven't seen that one. one. And it's got, you can see in the corner, it's got the little booger right there. Mm. That's one I've not seen, so I don't know what that was about. And then we have, this is a great movie. John Q. Oh, his, his son needs a heart, and the insurance won't cover it. I have seen that one. Oh, my God, and he takes the emergency room hostage. This is not a former rental. This is actually out of my personal collections. Yeah, I that have seen that one. Great movie. Uh, then we have Men of Honor. That's another good one. That is a good one. <clears throat> this one still has the uh, security sticker on it. Not anymore. <laughs> this is not a rental either. Great movie. Yep. I, yeah, my the ones I have listed on my eBay, I have two eBay accounts of nothing but movies. The Lucky <laughs> One, Blu-ray. Yes, I'll do that for a dollar. Usually I do these for two, but hey, Men of Honor, we got going to Janice. I just watched that movie on like Prime or Netflix or something. It's a good movie. It is. It's a very good movie. It's a book. <clears throat> I usually like the ones. All right, Janice takes Men of Honor. Yeah, this is a um, John. John takes the lucky one. Um, hell, I can't remember his damn name. Yeah, the romance guy. I've talked to his wife and him on the phone. Nick Sparks, <clears throat> Upside of Anger. That's another. That's a rental. That's one Randall and loves. I've not seen that one. That's a good movie. Nicholas Sparks, yeah. Yes, Nicholas Sparks. I actually taught. Uh, their their son has autism, and we used to sell some stuff at a vitamin company I worked for called Calabsorb. It was a powdered calcium, and it tasted like chalk, Ugh. with flavor, but it helps to calm children with autism and actually gets rid of leg spasms as well. And they, I sold them some cal, uh, some Calabsorb. <clears throat> and then we have submarines. That's a I, I don't know remember if that was a rental or if that was just a barcode there. 
but yeah, movie gallery, and it says one on there, so it was a rental. <clears throat> I actually got to talk to Sam Jackson too. He bought some prostate stuff. <laughs> <laughs> uh, bodyguard, not the not the one with um, yeah. Kevin in it. That's called the bodyguard, but this one's called Bodyguard. One of them kung fu movies. Former rental as well. Oh, the ones where the mouthing the video doesn't match up with the story. Yeah. Yes, like that. Okay, this is another former rental called The Maldondo Miracle. <clears throat> oh. That one I have not seen. I mean neither, but that looks pretty good. See, I quit reading Nick Sparks because they all became repetitive. Well, and they all ended sadly. Oh, there's that too. <clears throat> and then we have the bald knobs. Bald bald knob. Yeah, bald knobbers. Um, Branson's first show from Branson, Missouri. <clears throat> that's not a rental. That's actually from Branson, Missouri. <clears throat> very, very hillbilly-ish. Oh, yeah. It's got to be good. This is a good one. This is not a form. Oh, yeah, it is a former rental. Sorry. Street Fighter, The Legend of Chun Li. I've never seen Eight it. Movie. Yeah, I used to play the game, so you know. Oh, okay. <laughs> Get that bad boy out of my Nintendo. Woo! You know, after you watch so many movies that end sadly, you just don't want to watch the author anymore. <laughs> exactly. This is a former blockbuster because it says blockbuster Coach Carter. Oh, that's a good one. That's a really good one. And it's got, look, Sam Jackson in it. So I was in New York, and I'm walking down the street, down 42nd Street, where all the theaters are. And I'm like, oh, my God, it's Sam. That's a Madam Tucson's Wax Museum. Damn it. I thought I was going to meet Sam Jackson. Yeah. But they, they look so real. But Sam Jackson was on the outside. <laughs> all right. I've got probably, I don't know, we'll say 20 more. This one is brand new. But um, I accidentally broke the copy on it, so it has never been watched. Witness protection. This is hysterical. It is. It is, it is so, so funny. funny. But it's got those, the sleeve. So Those Madea movies are hilarious. Oh, I love Medea. Medea. That's it. Yeah. Madea, Medea, whatever. I can't remember. Absolutely hysterical movie. They are. They're great. <clears throat> um, the Order. That's uh, Jean-Claude as well. <clears throat> nope, we got Ronnie. Ronnie takes it. M A D E A. Put that on your stack up there. Then we have The Order. That's a good movie, too. <clears throat> oh, I got to move that over here. Okay. Your lamp's getting in the way. <laughs> <laughs> the 5,000 Fingers of Dr. T. That one I have not watched, but it looks like a musical. So, anything Dr. Seuss, you know, it's got to be good. Oh, yeah. Got to love Dr. Seuss. And then we have another former rental, The Other End of the Line. Looks That's, like a chick flick. Uh, be good. Uh, Metcliff, Metcliff in it. And Shire, I don't even, I can't pronounce that. Shia LaBeouf? No, Sharia Saran? Um, I don't know. I don't know. I haven't seen this one, but it's a former rental as well. Looks like a chick flick. And we got oh, that'll be good. Phoenix. That's Janice takes Dr. Seuss. Janice, good call. J-A-N-I-C-E-D-R Sus. That's sus. Um, we got Flight of the Phoenix with, um, what's it, Dennis Quaid. He actually did a movie here. This is not a former rental. It's even got the stale stuff still in there. But yeah, he actually did a movie here with, um, I can't remember, uh, some, yeah, what's his face? Uh, a pretty Boy, I can't remember his name. And then I've never even seen the movie. The Kids Are All Right. Oh, that's a good one. I haven't seen that one. That's a good one. No, it's got Julian Moore in it. Mark Ruf, uh, Ruffalo and Annette. You Finney. want what? Jane ah. wants that. 
You want which one? Hold it up so she can see the name of it. The kids are all right or Flight of the Phoenix? You got the Incredible Hulk in that one. Yeah. The, the Phoenix. Phoenix. Okay. Janice. All right. And then I've got another former rental, The Fault in Our Stars. No, this is not a former rental. This is a damn tearjerker and a half. Oh, yes. That's Love awesome that movie. movie. That's an awesome, awesome movie. I'm just upset that the um, the Divergent series, they didn't make the fourth one because they wanted to do it just a TV-only series. And she's like, no, that's not what I signed up for. I'm like, damn it, man. Yeah. So you don't get to find out what the ending was unless you read the books. <laughs> <clears throat> she died. Thanks. Hey. Ronnie takes fault in our stars. All right. Good job, Ronnie. F A U L T. All right. Put that in her stack. Left Behind series. The original. This one's actually brand new, never been opened. Uh, Left Behind series. The dude, uh, this guy. He, uh, yeah, he quit doing the TV series he's in because it um, it didn't believe go with his moral code. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and sometimes your morals are more than money. Mm -hmm. And people don't realize that. And then we got Single Moms Club, another Tyler Perry. Good movie. This is not a former rental. I collect books and DVDs. That, yeah, right? <laughs> there you go. Ronnie, you're as bad as me. I got DVDs. You will always be entertained in your retirement. Yeah. You may yeah, not be right. able to eat, but you'll be entertained. You ought to, you ought to go on Amazon and buy some of my books. Freedom Riders. That is a that's an amazing movie. I've not seen that one. Oh wow, that's a great movie. And you got Hillary Swank in there, and what's his face? I can't remember his name. Patrick Dempsey. That's the one. That's Mr. a great McDreamy movie. or Mr. McSteamy or Dr. One, Dr. McDreamy or Steamy one. I don't remember which. This is just a former rental uh, SWAT. This one I haven't seen either. I haven't either. All right. Let me get the last of the. Well, no, I guess it's not the last of them. Just that stack. All right. Let me, whoops. McDreamy. Yeah. See, Ronnie knew who I was talking about. McDreamy. Yeah. <laughs> all right, let me get all these brought out so it's easier. Oh, I didn't know I had that. Son of a biscuit eater. Oh, well, it's getting sold. All right, this is the last of them. All right, we've got Stealth. <clears throat> and that is in the, uh, in the case. That means it's not a former rental. Two disc set. That's a good one. Stealth is a good movie. And then you have Mr. Mark Wahlberg, Max Payne, unrated. You gotta like Mark Wahlberg. Oh, yeah. Well, his brother lives down the road from us. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Donnie lives in St. Charles. Really? We have... We, Donnie uh, and Jenny? Yeah, and uh, my sister-in-law used to work at the... the one of the stores there uh -huh. and uh, they'd come in all the time so she got to deal with them all the time making birthday cakes for the kid and everybody else uh -huh. so we got mr deeds that's a funny movie it's not as good as the yeah, original, it's funny. not as good as the original but still a good movie I adam, like that sandler, adam sandler does have a good one on this one <clears throat> and then we have american sniper beautiful good. movie Oh, Raylan oh. hates it because it makes her cry every time she watches it. My husband won't watch it. No, it's it's rough to watch, especially being former military. Yep. That's why he won't watch it. Oh, I missed that one. And then we got Dear John. <laughs> Nicholas Sparks there. Yep. Oh, we got Ronnie for Sniper. Ronnie takes Sniper. That's a tearjerker, Ronnie. 
It really is. It's very sad. Oh, I found more movies. Look at there. <laughs> uh, so Dear John goes over. I'm just going to start setting them here. John text Dear John. Okay. It's a sad one. Yeah, I like Dear John. That's another uh, military one. It's sad, though. And that's when he brings out the autism. Uh, and that's when uh, that's, he was writing that book when I talked to him about his son having autism. Uh, Eight Mile, former rental. <clears throat> that's actually a good movie. Yes, it is. I was is. quite surprised. It actually really shows the genius that he is. And the one with the dog, the military dog? Which one's that? Mm -hmm. Can't think of the name right now. I don't remember one with a military dog. Me either. Uh, USS Poseidon Phantom Below. That's one I've not seen. Um, former rental. <clears throat> Neither. And then we have Live Free. Oh, she was just talking about the movie. You didn't have it. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, I, I figured as much. Uh, Live Free or Die Hard. Unrated. Former rental. And Bruce Willis can barely remember his own name now because of his uh, his dementia. dementia. Yeah. My mom's about that. Way to, my mom can't even do anything for herself now. Oh, I know. She's not eating. This is Bradley Cooper, Reality of Love. A whole great movie. Love Bradley Cooper. <clears throat> I like him in... Um, um, the Guardians of the Galaxy. I'll, I'll, oh, Genesis, Die Hard. Die Hard. Yeah. Okay, got to put that in Genesis. Got to love the Die Hard movies. Oh, yeah. Love they're Bruce Willis. Considered, they're considered Christmas movies. Yeah, sure. <laughs> but I liked him in, uh, what is that? Um, a Star is Born. Mm -hmm. His voice. And that's a sad movie. Oh. Uh, I couldn't watch it all the way through. I know, right? I did. We own it. It's another former rental human weapon. Ooh, Project I really human weapon. Bye <clears throat> bye. This is a really awesome movie that I absolutely love. Randallin can't stand. Um, we bought a zoo. Matt Damon, great movie. I hate that movie. <laughs> Randallin hates it too, and I told her I said Randallin. <laughs> We live in a zoo. <laughs> yeah, what you guys? Yeah, I don't like that movie either. I love that movie. Uh, Beneath the Crust, Volume Two. Ooh, never heard of that one. It's uh one of those. I, that's something to do with the American Pie movies. Oh, okay. That's probably why I've never seen it. My date with Drew. Former rental. Drew Barrymore. Oh, never heard that's of one it. I've never seen either. Never heard of it. Me either. You got more movies than I've ever heard of. <laughs> and this isn't even all of them. I have more in the basement that are listed on my eBay and my uh, yeah, my both my eBay accounts. Fireproof. That's a good movie. That is a really good movie. Like really, <laughs> I know, right? I saw that. I'm like, I was crying. I ain't gonna lie. I'm a big win. Yeah. First yeah, that movie was a really good movie. was my girl. I hate that movie. I love it so much. <laughs> Every time I watch it, I cry. Yep. And that and Labyrinth. Oh my God. Pan's Labyrinth. That movie. Oh, we got Wall Street. Wall Street. Mm. Money never sleeps. No, it doesn't. Michael <clears throat> Douglas. Gotta like Michael Douglas. All right. This is, I uh, got Midnight Temptations and Tales of the Karma Sutra 2 Monsoon. Ooh. This one okay. kind of looks like a steamy movie. Two of them. Two steamy movies. Oh, The Notebook, yeah. Oh, that book. Yeah. The movie sucked. The book is good. The Message in a Bottle. Terrible movie. Beautiful book. I did oh. not play at The Notebook, though. The reason being because my cousin warned me. He said, you're going to need a you're gonna need a box of tissues. And I didn't cry. <laughs> I did. Ah. All three times I watched it. 
Yeah. Okay, this one's Animal Attraction and Animal Attraction 2. Never seen them. Put Animal in there? Me either. I don't watch movies like that. Yeah. <clears throat> Although I did watch Two Weeks Notice. Good movie. My father said I couldn't watch it, so he went. He had to work out of town, so guess what the first thing I did? Watched it. <laughs> Lighten Up and Laugh, Ken Davis and Friends. Never seen this one. That's right. How can you not cry watching The Notebook? Because I read the all, book first. All three times that you watch it. <laughs> <laughs> and then we've got um, Desert Heat, another Van Damme movie. He was yeah, very, very good looking back in the day. Yeah, he was. But he uh, he lived out, his sister lived down the street. He's only like this tall. Dude is really? like tiny. Oh, they do this stuff to make him look taller. Because you thought he yeah. was like six foot something in the movies. Yeah, and same with Steven Seagal. Out for a kill. Never really yeah, cared much. Jean Claude is only like five foot four. What? Yeah, he's really short. Never uh, really he came into Walmart and he was talking to me. And I'm like, holy shit, you are Jean Claude Van Damme, aren't you? Because I ID'd him because I'm like, hang on a he second. Jean Claude. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that's look, yeah. And then we've got uh, tribulation. Never heard of it. Me either. But that's uh, what's his face? Um, Gary Boosie. You know he's from West Virginia. Yes, I did know that. From Charleston, yeah. Yep. Uh, then we have surveillance. <coughs> Yeah, Gary Boosie, he, uh, the Lethal Weapon movie. Yeah. For me. <clears throat> yeah, he's very yeah. weird. A dangerous <laughs> man. Well, his son was in, uh, I can't remember. Um, oh, what movie is his son in? Uh, Starship Troopers. Mm. Yeah, he's very weird. Even if he is from West Virginia, he's very weird. Very weird man indeed. Yeah, we'll, we'll stick with Jennifer Garner. We'll claim her. Right. Well, I like Tyne Daly. I met her at a Whataburger. And Joyce DeWitt's from West Virginia. Yep. The Lost Treasure of Sawtooth Island. Ooh. This is like old school, but it's a rental, former rental. Blockbuster. That's a good movie. Never seen it. Better than Pirates of the Caribbean, I can tell you. <laughs> and really? I like Pirates of the Caribbean. I like Pirates of the Caribbean, too. <laughs> Raylan hates them. Really? Yep. How do you hate them? They're awesome. I don't know. Raylan's weird. Well, she married you. She must be. Yeah, I know, right? This is a former rental. This is called Crossing Over. That's a good one, too. Oh, yeah. Robert Duvall and Johnny Depp. I'm right there with you. Yeah. Uh, Robert De Niro. He's one of my favorites. One of the best movies ever is... um. What is that? Oh, shit. I can't even think what it is. Um, Stardust. He's a cross-dresser. Oh, my, and he's a pirate. It is so good. It is so good. I don't have... Tom uh, Piper's in that one also. I don't have a, a an opinion one way or another on Johnny Depp. <laughs> yeah, me either. <laughs> nah, I can take him or leave um, The Laugh Out Loud double feature. You got Mall Cop 1 and 2. I didn't I realize I had this because I, I own the like first him. one, but I don't own the second one. You don't like uh, you don't like him? No. Oh, I think it's hilarious. <clears throat> I didn't like him in the TV series he was in, but that's okay. No, I like the TV series. I just didn't care much for him. Yeah. And then we have uh, Tommy Lee Jones, Man of the House. Love Tommy Lee Jones. Oh, I do too. Good actor. That's a Love Men in Black. Actor. What's that? I love Men in Black. Oh, I know, right? Oh, Ronnie gets mall cops. Okay. Ronnie stack is that one. Ronnie. What movie was you were just talking about the cross dresser? Oh, I don't know. Stardust. Stardust, Janice. He doesn't have it. He's just saying about it. Oh, I have it. It's over there. Oh, he's not selling it. I can't. Uh, I have to wait until I can uh, get it on sale because <laughs> then I can sell the DVD. Yeah, Stardust, Stardust is hilarious. This is a good one with Cuba. Road Trip. 
boat trip, not road trip. Oh, I'm sorry, boat trip. I can't read. <laughs> I've never seen it, but it's hilarious. Well, I met Cuba Gooding Jr. Um, at a break dancing competition. He just showed up and started break dancing, and then he took his hood off and we're all like, "Holy shit, that's Cuba!" <laughs> he can break dance too. He's really good. You know. I don't really pay that much attention to people out when I'm seeing it. So I could see somebody on the street and talk to them and still not know who they were. I met uh, Alec Baldwin at the airport two times. Is he uh, an asshole? Volta and Uma Thurman and Be Cool. That's a good one, too. So is Alec Baldwin an asshole? No, he was a nice guy. He bumped into me really? when I was coming out of the bathroom. He goes, oh, I'm so sorry. I'm like, no problem. And I'm like, holy shit, that's Alec Baldwin. But I had a, a client, so I did the security guard move with my arm. And he bumped into me, and then my client comes out in his wheelchair, and then I was like, dude, do you see who bumped into me? He goes, who? I said, Alec Baldwin. He goes, no. I said, wait right here. And Alec Baldwin walks by. He goes, you sure you're all right? I said, I'm good, man. appreciate you. And he, my, but my client's like, holy shit, that's Alec fucking Baldwin. I'm like, his middle name is not that. <laughs> you never know. I don't really know what his middle name is. but Neither do I. And then we have Guardian. That's a good movie, too. That's got a, uh, what's his face? Yeah. Kevin Costner. So it's long. <laughs> What's that? So it must be a long movie. <laughs> All right. <laughs> the Waterworld was a long one by himself. Oh this, my God. Waterworld was awful. I love that movie. It's so slow. This has never been opened. This is Sabrina. I've seen that one. Good movie. Brand new. Still sealed. Good movie. And then we have this one, which is, um, how many discs is this? One, two discs. You're going to love this one. It's got Robert Duvall, Tommy Lee Jones, and Angelica Houston in Lonesome Dove. I love Lonesome Dove. Great movie. That's an awesome movie. I watched it every time it came out on, on TV. Mm-hmm. It, like once a year they would play it and i used to, i watched it every time the back plastic's a little wrinkled but that's okay the movie plays fine that's a great watching. movie great movie and then we have a former rental flicker that's a good movie too yes it is <clears throat> i like the horse movies so i know you do <laughs> <laughs> oh i'm nothing to play on who the hell's calling me all right do you want to see you want What's that? Janice Most wants done for Janice. Book. Okay, put that in Janice's stack. Janice, I think your box might be ready. I'll Ronnie show. wants Flicka. Okay, give me one second. Janice. Lonesome. Yeah, Tom, Tim McGraw, yeah. And then we, you said uh, Ronnie wants Flicka? Yeah. Uh -huh. I think she actually wants Tim McGraw, but she'll take Flicka. <laughs> And this is my last movie for the night. We have Walk the Line. That's an awesome movie. Oh, my God. And the fact that he could sing blew mm. my mind. I didn't know Joaquin could sing. Then he came. He, like, was really weird in The Joker. Oh, yeah. The, that movie, he did a great job, though. He did. But he I did. knew Reese could sing, but I didn't know Joaquin could. I'm like, wow. Oh, he, your Tim McGraw's your next husband. Does Faith know about that? Hey, who cares? Ronnie wants <laughs> Walk the Line. Ronnie gets walked the line. Good pickup. That is a great movie. Okay, put that in Ronnie's, and that was, that's it. I'm done. Oh, wow. The only thing I have left is a whole bunch of um, United Way pins. But I'm not going to put those. I'll just put those in a lot on Poshmark or something. So I'm done. So let Who me cares get about faith. <laughs> well, Tim, probably. <laughs> right? <laughs> It's Funny amazing. story. So I'm in, I'm sitting on an airplane, chilling out. I'm like, I don't know, 15, 16 years old, maybe 14. Oh, I was a little bit older than that. I think I was like 16. And I'm sitting in an, uh, sitting on an airplane on my way to Ohio. And there's this lady sitting next to me, and I'm sitting here jamming out to my walk band with my tape in it. And this lady says, hey, would you like this? I'm like, sure. So I put it in. I'm like, wow. She goes, yeah, that's my demo tape. I'm like, dude, you're good. Oh, wow. So I'm sitting there talking to Faith Hill all this time. Oh. Before she was famous. Faith, before she was Booyah. famous. Oh, yeah. There we go. So you've got her demo tape. 
I still have it too. I That's will not cool. sell it. I no, have a I tape. <laughs> That's one thing I'm going to hang on to for a long time. Paul, um, I'll be 99 sitting there going, okay, now I got a Faith Hill demo cassette. <laughs> oh my gosh. Right? Ronnie, like, it, it tells you when she's going to get married. I'm never getting married again. I'm done. This is it. When I'm on my third this, marriage. If or, I'm on my second. If or when this one, I'm never doing it again. Yeah. I, um, if this marriage doesn't work out between Randall and I, I'm either going to join the seminary or become gay. And I am not Catholic, girlfriend. <laughs> That's a joke, Lisa. I know. It just really <laughs> wasn't funny. <laughs> I know. Raylan hates it when I say that. <laughs> She's like, yep, and he's going to be divorced if he keeps telling that joke. <laughs> yeah. Right, right, Ronnie, too, is enough for anybody. Oh. Yeah. I mean, my first, my first wife was a biatch. My second, I married her because in the state of Florida, if you have a kid with somebody and you don't marry him, you have no rights as a father. So I married her. Uh, my second wife, yeah, when I she got really liked her enough to have a kid with her. Eh, it was easy. Anyway, um, I ain't gonna lie to you. My second wife, when she got her 10 year green card, I discovered that's all she wanted. And then I met Randolyn. She's an amazing okay. woman. Okay. I'm a very lucky man. There you go. So, okay. Okay. all right. You have anything else you want to sell or you want to call that a night? Let's call it a night. Let's call it a night. Well, I want to thank everybody. I will, um, yeah. Janice, I will, I will invoice you for this one because I got so much for you. Um, and then, Ronnie, all your DVDs will probably ship in one box. The rest of the stuff will ship in a second box because the DVDs I'm covering shipping, so no worries on that. I'll just stick them all in the same box if I can make them fit. That was a heck of a deal on those DVDs. Oh, yeah, 44 of them for 30 bucks. Yep. Can't beat that. So, All right, and uh, I don't know when I'm going to have another auction because uh, I got so much going on. It might be I'll be back week. Monday. What's that? I'll be back Monday. Yeah, I was going to say, well, Lisa will be back Monday and Wednesday of next week. Yep. I don't know when I'll be back because I got so much going on. So thank you guys so much. You have a wonderful mm -hmm. night. We'll see you guys later. Bye. Bye. If I can push the right button. <laughs> push the right button there, Rob.